How are you all doing? Tonight is the big night, or if you're watching this on the replay, uh, I'm starting 24 minutes out from uh, the episode dropping, so you're going to have to fast forward 24 minutes to get to the actual watch party. I figured I would just chill with you guys for a little bit. There's 1,400 people just waiting in the lobby, which is pretty sweet. Um, so, guys, let's hang out. Let's chill. Uh let's shoot the breeze this is a polite term i guess i could say um yeah man we got 24 minutes so what should we do should we watch some videos on youtube should we um play some more jk2 should we play some jedi fallen order should we i don't know we could do something we could, like play some miles morales on ps5 um we could play god of war I don't know, just hang out. What up? What up? Everyone's coming in. So there's a 20 second lag on YouTube. So I, I always, I'm talking ahead of uh, what you guys are seeing. Um, while I have your attention, if you could, please go to my gaming channel. If you're into that, if you like me and you like gaming, um, I stream literally every day. So I don't know if you can see, but uh, I'll try to bring it up for you. Yeah. So, I mean, today we just did a five hour stream getting ready for the Mando. And then at like 4 a.m. I did another one at uh, 48 minutes, uh, then an hour and 45. And, you know, five hour stream, six hour stream, four hour stream, for another four hour stream, two, two, yeah. So I love my gaming channel. I'm very dedicated to it. So if you guys are into that, it's there. It's called Theories Arcade. You can check it out. So tonight, Mandalore. Mandalore. I've been playing too much God of War where they roll the R's a lot and everything. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited. Now, I don't... Okay, so there, there's a thing. I don't want to get... I don't want to get my hopes up too much and think like, oh my god, it's going to be this huge all-out battle or whatever. I've heard some rumors about Ahsoka being in the episode for like two minutes. I've heard rumors about her being in the episode for like the whole thing. I've heard rumors about the episode being like an hour long, being like the longest episode or something like that. So I don't know what to expect. I don't want to get my hopes up. So I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm going to roll with it. I mean, it would be a bummer if it was just like, you know, a few minutes of her and they move on with the story. But I think tonight is going to be a really pivotal point in the Star Wars fandom, uh, in the Star Wars universe. And I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm pretty stoked for it. I'm stoked to see you guys' reactions as well as mine. And uh, I can't wait to do the breakdown. Doing the breakdowns is probably the most fun. It's the most mentally taxing, but it's the most fun. Because I'm going to be up until... I'm going to be up for the next probably 10 hours right after this. And it's 11.39 p.m. right now. So 21 minutes left. Let's talk. Do you think Ahsoka will have a Beskar? So I see a theory that a lot of people throw out there, and that's uh, Ahsoka is actually the armorer. Um, I just don't see that happening. I don't know. I'd be very surprised, but I don't see that happening. I, s I, I, I like the theory that I had regarding Mace Windu donning a Mandalorian um, helmet and becoming, excuse me, becoming a bounty hunter of some sorts or um, a Mandalorian, a fake Mandalorian, because really who's going to get in his way if he gets caught? And it's like, hey, you're not a real Mandalorian. Take that armor off. Um, just to hide from the Empire and hide from the galaxy and all that. I could see him doing that, but as for Ahsoka doing that, I could really see her doing that too. So it's it's an interesting theory. There's so many things we can go into, and this is the next 20 minutes are really the last time that we can do this regarding Ahsoka and what she's up to. And I feel like I feel like this episode, I hope I'm not wrong, is really what's gonna be changing the entire shift of Star Wars. I just have I just I don't know, maybe. I think she's gonna have her white bl blades. I think Moff Gideon's gonna show up, and I think it's gonna leave us on this big cliffhanger where he shows up and we just see Ahsoka. So maybe in the next episode, after this, we'll have to wait another week. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be the big battle, you know? And then episode eight is the finale. So, uh, wait, when does episode eight end? In two weeks from now. So that's like middle of December, I guess. Do you think we're going to see Ahsoka tonight? And if so, how do you think they'll introduce her? Yes, I think we'll see Ahsoka tonight. Um, I'm excited for a lot of reasons. I obviously to see Ahsoka in live action, but obviously, but also, I wonder what her voice is going to be like. You know, that's one thing that I voices sound is such a huge integral part of so many things. And when you're so used to a voice, 
I wonder, you know, are they going to use Ashley Eckstein's voice and ADR it? Or are they going to use Rosario Dawson's actual performance? So I'm curious to see what it sounds like. Is it off-putting? Is it good? I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to knock it out of the park. And um, I haven't listened to any spoilers or leaks or anything like that regarding the actual episode. So I'm going into this super fresh. Um, even though I know Josh uh, knows all the leaks and all that stuff, if, if they're real. But... Um, yeah matt what up man i'm super stoked sorry i can't afford to afford to join but keep doing you mate big love hey big love man as long as you guys are here chilling we got five thousand people in the lobby um you know another time i think we're gonna have a big lobby is probably for vader episode two so i'm gonna i'm gonna live stream it i'm gonna do it as a premiere so you all will sit there and you watch it whenever it happens like 50 million years from now. Cute little cup. Blender bottle. Got my Yodo. Yodo. Long time fan. Just want to say thanks. Can we expect Cobra Kai streams too? Yeah, dude. I've been slacking on my Cobra Kai channel. I've just been spending literally all my time on Star Wars Theory and my gaming channel streaming. I've just been like streaming like six hours a day. And um, I love it. I love it. So yeah, I'm, I'm chilling on the Cobra Kai right now, but I think about it every day and I'm like, oh, I should make a video. But by the time I'm done with all my, with the other channels, I'm just kind of tired, you know, or I just want to put all of my energy into them. Yeah. What do you think will happen with Boba Fett? That's a good question. I think if you watched my theory video, I think Boba Fett's going to show up near the end and he's going to be on someone's side. He's going to be on the side of Moff Gideon, or he's going to be on the side of the Mando, which, honestly, I would like the side of the Mando more. I think it would be... I think it would just be more fun, you know? You could root for the good guys now, and it's like Boba's on their team. It's pretty sweet. When does the episode come out? Never been in one of these streams before. Well, where, welcome, Derek. Uh, it comes out in 17 minutes. So, um, yeah, how these watch parties work, if you're new to this, Basically, I just pop it up on my screen. You won't be able to see it, but there's a timer up there. And uh, we all sync it together and we watch it. And then at the end, we do a, a breakdown. And uh, when I say we, I mean me and you guys. And then, um, and then yeah, I end it. I say goodnight and I go to work. <laughs> I, I go make the breakdown and um, stay up till like 9, 10 in the morning and, and release it. And then I finally go to bed. I love it. Do you think we'll get a flashback episode of the times of the Mandalore at any point in the series? I'd love to see that. I'd love to see the creation of the Darksaber. And I want to know, especially, maybe in this episode, how Moff Gideon got the Darksaber. So, are we going to see Sabine? Are we going to see Ezra? Are we going to see Thrawn? Imagine if Thrawn shows up at the end of this. It'd be pretty cool. 6200 here. How's it going, guys? Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you all in. I um, guess I'll throw that in there. <laughs> Thanos is the one killing baby Yoda. Maybe. I could see a lot more Jedi appearing in the series as Balance somewhat returns to the galaxy, ending the feud between Mando and Jedi. Yeah, so, again, in that theory I made, I think this... I think Ahsoka... It could go two ways. She's either going to be really, really huge in this series in the in the next in the next season two, or she's just going to basically say, "Hey, I'm not a Jedi anymore. I got some stuff I got to deal with, and that involves Ezra and Thrawn and all that, or whatever." And that could lead to her own spinoff show. And then from there, she can tell Mando the next Easter egg hunt, which will I guess go into season three. Hey, you got to go find Luke Skywalker. Hey, you got to go find Cal Kestis. Hey, you got to go find I don't know Mace Windu. So there's tons of different Jedi that can now be be brought in here. And the other thing that I find super interesting is Doctor Pershing is looking for a Jedi with um, or or an entity with a high M count, a high midi chlorian count. So. This really only weeds out the super strong and powerful Jedi. So who are the ones that are left? Well, maybe they could bring some back. Maybe they could bring, bring Mace Windu back. But I think it leaves the door open for Luke Skywalker to come in because really he's stronger than all of them. So it'd be great, man. It'd be cool. It'd be awesome. i um, excited to see where it goes. Hey, Parth, how you doing? Supporting my 66 cap from... 
First time participating in the watch party this season. Managed to stay awake. Awesome, dude. Let's go. We have another uh, 14 minutes remaining, and I think it's going to be a very, very exciting episode. I've been waiting all week for it. Like crazy. I could see a lot more Jedi appearing. Uh, much love from Michigan Brother. Nervous for the Ahsoka live-action premiere, as I don't think they could make it as good as Bo's. Do you agree? That's the thing, man. Bo's appearance by Katie Sackhoff was phenomenal. It was amazing. She killed it. And rightfully so. I mean, she's the voice of Bo. She knows the character. She looks like the character. And she, you know, did a really good performance. We don't know anything about live-action Ahsoka, so... Man, all I can say is in Dave we trust, you know? So it, if he's behind this, I think it's going to be great. Uh, I think we have to just have some faith and know that um, Ahsoka, I think of all characters, is like Dave Filoni's child, you know? Um, that and, and, you know, I guess Wolf. But um, I think he's going to really care for this one, maybe more than any of the other things that he does, which is saying a lot. So I think... We can put our faith into his hands, and um, I think he's going to do a really good job. I think he's going to select the right cast and everything, so. 7,200 people here. How's it going, guys? Welcome, 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 welcome. We've got 13 minutes left. Pretty stoked. Can't wait. I am pumped. Me too. If Ahsoka is in there, does that mean Sabine was successful in finding Ezra Thrawn later down the road? So here's the thing. What if... What if Thrawn's fleet shows up at the very end and they're and Sabine's just like, oh no, or whatever, and then like Ezra like jumps out or something. I don't know. I mean Thrawn and Gideon showing up would be pretty wild together. They'd be pretty OP. But then you'd need something for the good guys. So like uh Ahsoka and then Luke would have to show up. I don't know. I think I think it'd be pretty cool. Ahsoka could kill him with... Oh, so no, okay. So here's the misconception. A lot of people think that Ahsoka is going to kill him off Gideon super easily. So at the end of uh, the last episode, we saw the Dark Troopers. Dark Troopers are also used as an exoskeleton suit, and I'm going to make a video on Dark Troopers either Saturday or Sunday. If you didn't hear my explanation in the latest uh, video with Luke and Ahsoka. Now, the Dark Troopers... Those were Phase 3 Dark Troopers. So... What this means is like they're like this crazy mech warrior suit that Moff Gideon can go into if he's if they're not just operating as droids. And they're lightsaber resistant, they're incredibly fast and agile. They've got booster packs on them, or, or like not jet packs, but like boost boost packs, I think is what it's called. Jump packs or something. Anyways, it allows them to dodge left and right and forward and back. Um, kind of like you saw in Battlefront. So if he gets in one of those. There isn't much Ahsoka's lightsabers can do, so she's going to really have to use the Force. And um, it's going to be tough, man. He's going to have the, the dark saber, so uh, Mando's not going to stand a chance. So we're, we're going to need some more reinforcements, so the good guys will have to come in there and, and really help her out. So that's my theory on it. But um, dark troopers are really cool, and I hope you guys will keep watching the, the Jedi Knight 2 um, Jedi Outcast streams, because all the lore that they're pulling... And putting into this episode, I feel like a ton of it is in there. You know, in the last episode, we saw that they were cloning some figure or trying to basically put the Force into some being. And that's exactly what they're doing in Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. They're trying to put the Force into a being using kyber crystals. So, it's a little bit of difference, but um, a lot of the lore is from there. So, you, you'd be able to understand the story much better if you um, know those games or play those games or you just watch the streams. Do I smell more World Between Worlds? I hope not. You know, Dave said that uh, World Between Worlds isn't like a time travel place. It's just a place where like everything is echoed. But then I didn't. I was confused because then it's like he, Ezra was able to pull Ahsoka out and then he was going to pull Kanan out. But it's like if it's not a time travel place, then what's the deal with having that amount of power? And why did Palpatine want it so much, you know? That's a question I'd love to ask him. It was established that the watch was a branch off. Do you think that Din will eventually have to choose between the watch and the true Mandalorians? So the Death Watch and the true Mandalorians are 
I would say at a feud still, and we can kind of see that in episode three's um, confrontation, or not confrontation, but that bit of uh, tension between Bo and Din. I think eventually it's leading to the point where he's going to be more of a a true Mando, and he's going to take off his helmet. I, I just feel like that's where it's going to lead, you know? You've really made me open up more about my love for Star Wars. Do you think we'll see a live-action Filoni-verse Vader show? I think so. And that's good. You should be open about your love for Star Wars. Why shouldn't you be? Screw what people have to say. Star Wars is cool. Think any clones will show up? Like Omega Squad? I don't think any clones are going to show up. They're old. They're really old now. So, unless they change their, their ability to... to um, um, age accelerated aging if they slowed that down then maybe but otherwise yeah 9200 people here how's it going thank you so much for coming it's a beautiful time have you all here oh this is, this is my italian i don't know i'm 10 percent italian all right that's that's as far as i can go with it i think they will capture baby yoda get enough blood to finish the first successful test subject go green light with snoke palpy project and when the squad yeah but how are you guys gonna feel if if they take you uh if they if they kill baby yoda and then inject all of its blood into snoke how are you gonna feel about that or what if they do that with um ahsoka you know and let's not forget snoke's eyes were bright blue and so were Ahsoka's. So, I mean, it's kind of weird. You know? But then also, like, they're doing the, the, the Jedi Knight thing where they're um, they're using the Force... The, they're using the kyber crystals to imbue the Force in beings. And then we know Snoke's got that gi gigantic ring on his finger from the catacombs of Vader's castle. So a lot of the lore is starting to really add up. And I know I've talked a lot about this ring, but I feel like it has a lot of significance, you know? But then again, they mix up this, like... They didn't know where they were going with the sequel, so you, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, Palpatine knew about the world between worlds. Yeah, don't you remember he was trying to pull Ezra through it? And Ahsoka, when he was like doing the Sith magic thing. I love your channel. Have you ever watched Hero Fan? No, I have not. Oh, uh, maybe I have. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, would would be cool to see the Mandalorian clans go up against the Dark Troopers. That's what I'm saying. So, like, imagine this setting, okay? Forest planet, Ahsoka is being beaten by Moff Gideon and the Dark Troopers. All hope is lost. Mando, his best car is, like, destroyed. Baby Yoda is, I don't know, passed out because he tried to use the Force or something. And all of a sudden, the Slave One ship just... <laughs> flies up overhead and then all the mandos just jetpack in like dun, 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 and all the theme the theme music plays and uh but then thrawn's fleet comes in and he just steps out and he's like i don't know does the whole thing but then ezra shows up it, it could just keep going I, i'm excited uh how much we got left we got six minutes left wow ten thousand six hundred people cool thanks guys thanks for coming in Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. Uh, should they keep Yoda's world a secret or reveal it? Right, so here's the thing. is, From what I read in interviews with George Lucas, he always liked that Yoda was... Or he had Yoda as this mysterious, mystical creature. Uh, he was this being that no one knows it's his real name or his full name. No one knows his planet, his origins, or much, much about him. He just kind of um, floats in and floats out of the scene whenever, you know, it's... Um, that's it. Goes on his way. So... I kind of like the mysticism of Yoda being Yoda and not really knowing much about him. But I feel like if they're going, excuse me, if they're going to do this, then depends how they do it. It could be cool. All right, so I got the Mando here. And I'm just going to keep refreshing it once we hit 11.59. Do you think Luke will show up? That's my hope. I really hope he does. Um, although I don't want it to happen, it does, if it does, Dave would be the one sunsetting Ahsoka's story and do it justice. Yeah, but then I also hear people saying that Dave said that Ahsoka didn't die in episode 9, that she's not dead, that she was just able to speak. So I'm like, uh, come on, which one is it? 
No better place to watch my favorite fictional character's live action appearance than with the person who got me into Star Wars five years ago. I love you too, Peko. Thanks, buddy. Do you think Mace Windu will appear? <laughs> Dude, that was a theory I had. I mean, if they're going to be crazy to do that, my hat's off to them, man. But um, I don't know. It's, that's, a, that's a wild thing to do, I got to say. Um, but that would be probably the most mind-blowing thing, to be honest. The first test subject might not be needed at all of Baby Yoda's blood. The first one might just be the first Shadow Trooper. Um, yeah, so apparently it's confirmed that they're Dark Troopers, not Shadow Troopers. Shadow Troopers were basically just Storm Troopers with lightsabers that were, like, Dark Jedi, kind of. But I feel like Dark Troopers are... They're droids. They're droids and they're exoskeletons and they're resistant to lightsaber attacks. They're 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 pretty crazy. They're like a like a huge Mando, pretty much. Should we spam the like button? Please, please do. Yeah, twelve thousand of you here. Thank you so much. Um, I haven't had this many people here since I think episode nine, something for episode nine. I think it was like twenty three thousand of you, which was pretty neat. It's fun. Do you think it's possible that some of the Jedi heard in the episode 9 that weren't actually speaking to Rey? Is it just from the Force itself? Oh, kind of like a world between worlds in itself? It's possible, but that'd be super weird. Because uh, they were speaking directly to her. I feel like, oh, I see what you're saying. Like, maybe some of the indirect ones. No, I think they were all speaking to her. Yeah, and that's, that's why I wonder, like, how is Mace able to do that? Because, you know, he died before uh, learning how to do that but maybe Yoda taught him from the Clone Wars I from Qui-Gon teaching him or but he didn't really teach him till Revenge of the Sith so that's why I'm a little bit confused so yeah 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 Noah Hilliard what's up man you know what I'd love for you guys to do is sub to my gaming channel theories arcade <laughs> I will not stop until I have one million trillion. Anyways, um, two more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go pee real quick, and uh, and then when I get back, we should be good to go. Actually, it's probably gonna take me 30 seconds, but all right. Um, I think 30 seconds remaining. Should be good to go. 13,200! What's going on? You're a huge inspiration to me. Keep the force alive, brother. Hey, you keep it alive, man. Watching with y'all down the street. Oh, cool, bro! What's up, Benny? What up, Joey? Alright, it's midnight. Let's try this bad boy. Dude, it's out. It's only it's 47 minutes. Okay, okay, let's do it. Um, episode's out. I'm going to mute everything here. Guys, uh, may the force be with us. Let's go. Okay, so in, I'm not going to skip anything. I'm not going to skip the, the intro or anything like that. So let's just get into it in three, two, one.
Alright. For those of you still waiting, we're we're still in the recap, so it's fine. Or, or who haven't come in yet, I can I see you guys. Hold on, hold on. It's okay. It's all right. It's just him talking to Bo right now. I kind of feel like her and Bo have him and Bo have a little thing maybe going on, a little romance. You think? Okay. Lucasfilm logo. Most beautiful logo known to man. Here we go. Right off the bat, just what? Holy sh... Dude, she looks amazing. This is amazing.
Jesus. What a way to start an episode. Holy crap. Chapter 13. This is too epic. I can't believe what I just saw. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like Dagobah a little bit.
Wow. This is going to be a cool episode, I can already tell. <laughs> oh my god. Is this really happening right now? Jesus
Kogu.
<laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay. All right.
No. <laughs> what? Jesus. Boys, he's coming. The chiss is coming. Ezra's coming. Wait, what? Oh my god. Go with him. Oh, my God, Luke. Dude, I... Uh... Oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I 
I'm I I I am speechless. I I am speechless. I I don't even know what to say. That was the most Star Wars I've seen since 2012. I think that was the most Star Wars. That was the most Star Wars I've seen since Revenge of the Sith. That was unbelievable. That was amazing. It was beautiful. It was well directed. It was well thought. The script was. That's what I wanted to see, man. That's um, I couldn't be more thankful for Dave to, to Dave Filoni and John Favreau and everyone else involved. And uh, I, I think Rosario Dawson nailed it. Um, the voice, the look, the movements. You know, the themes that, that John Favreau had put in there, Dave Filoni had put in there. Um, I'm blown away. And I 100% called it. I think Luke is going to be in the next one. I think going to Titan. Uh, I, th I think uh, putting him on the seeing stone, everything is going to be... Uh, <laughs> I think Luke is going to pick up on that and he's going to come. I think we're going to see Luke Skywalker again. I think we're going to see Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, we're going to see Luke and Ahsoka. I think I think everything's just going to come together, and it's going to be amazing. Um, I think Anakin's going to speak with Ahsoka through the Force. They could even throw that in there if they want. Uh, dude, this was a shift it will never be the same again after this episode and you and i are the first ones to see this around the world so when everyone wakes up tomorrow and they watch it later in the evening or through the weekend star wars will never again be the same it's this is now it's taken a completely different shape um different story is being told here and it's filling in that gap between uh well i'm gonna say after six I think it's going to be really beautiful. I think there's so many things going on here. There's so much rich lore. There's so much friendship, uh, different bonds being built and different characters coming in, live action, so on and so forth. And I think things are really going to um, take shape and I think it's going to be beautiful. Um, the fact that Grogu is <laughs> was trained at the Jedi Temple uh, the same time Anakin was is mind-blowing and the fact that he's subdued he's hidden all of his force abilities so that he could survive i mean it makes a lot of sense why he has these kind of latent abilities that just come out in moments of um emotion um i gotta watch it again i'll, I'll do the breakdown properly but this was this was really amazing what do you guys think about grogu as the name hey i think it's a pretty fun name it's different, right? Um, what was it? Y Yoda's Yoda's master's name in in like F Fanon or something was uh, it was oh yeah, it was known as Del Gormo. It was totally different. Yo, Melo Skywalker said, "Ahsoka, dude, I'm so pumped. I I just started the episode, dude. Um, that was 47 minutes ago, so he's seen it now. I I imagine. Um, I'm still buzzing. I don't really know what to say. I trying to formulate words and. I would have liked for Ahsoka to go with him, you know? I don't... I'm not a... F I get it's Din and Baby Yoda... Well, Grogu's story. It's never... They're never really going to call him Baby Yoda again, are they? It's now Grogu. Uh, the child. And, um... I get it's his story, but it it would be nice if, you know, if, if Bo and Ahsoka and all them could go with him. And I that's something I want to see. So... I want to know you guys' thoughts on the next one. You want to see Anakin's Force Ghost? Yeah, well, that'd be cool. Yeah, I want to go watch that again. Should we watch it again? <laughs> 17,000 of you here, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, 
I, I, I'm really speechless. Yeah, I really don't know what to say. Um, the way they showed her using the lightsabers was bad ASS as Vader and Rogue One. Say, you know what I also really liked in the beginning was actually how they showed her point of view as she was attacking. And it was kind of like you see the Jedi for what they really are and they're they are hunters, you know, they are like hunters hunting their prey and I liked how they incorporated that in there. Um I got really emotional uh when she started talking about Yoda and the fact that he was trained. So I guess, I guess this is the only Jedi <laughs> This is the only youngling Anakin didn't kill. Uh, my question is, who took him? Who took him? That's a good question, actually. Uh, someone who would have survived. Maybe Yoda took him? No, Yoda wouldn't have known. Do you think Yoda and Yadel made him? I'd imagine. I'd imagine Yoda and Yadel got freaky. That's probably how it happened, dude. I mean, he came he came in um, the same time that Anakin was born, baby Yoda, Grogu was born. So it's it's like a lot of people ask, oh, is Grogu then, is baby Yoda the chosen one? It's like, well, no. Um, Anakin had his own prophecy and his own story, and he was basically created through without a father, right? It was the will of the Force, so to speak. Now, in the Plagueis novel, it was the Force answering to Plagueis's um dark intentions of trying to to create the perfect dark side force user by manipulating midichlorians and the force said nah ah ah and uh Jurassic Park reference and and basically uh created Anakin within Shmi so this is to me i mean the, the amount of lore that's going into here is is next level and seeing what he's going to do on the seeing stones is and when she said that it, it, it's maybe going to call out to another Jedi and another Jedi will be able to feel his presence, I feel like that's 100% Luke. I mean, or Ezra, but I don't think so. I think Ezra is going to be there with Thrawn, and I think at this point Ahsoka is still tracking Ezra down. And she's getting closer and closer, but it's she's not there yet, so... Man, she's been hunting him for like five years, that's crazy. What if Yoda has no true species and his people simply come into existence through the will of the Force? I know it's pretty far out there, but just maybe. Well, so here's the thing. It's like you guys are probably thinking, okay, well, Jedi can't have kids. But actually with ki mundi the dude with the long head, if you don't know who that is, he was a Syrian, and Syrians basically where they were going extinct. So ki mundi had several wives, and he was allowed to have children, but that's because his breed... His his, oh, his his species that were dying out, they were going extinct, so they allowed it. The Jedi Order um, allowed it. And they were like, okay, sure. And Kiadi's like, damn, oh no. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so maybe, you know, Yoda species is kind of like that too, where um, it's a dying race or uh, the species is going extinct or something, and they just need to, they're like, okay, you know what? Yadel and Yoda, you guys got to get together and. Have a little Grogu together. I'm really, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out who would have taken him, who would have saved him from Order sixty six. I don't know. The way they showed her was, yeah. I got, <laughs> I got, I got. What? Did you tear up too? Yeah, I did too. It's okay. Only the real ones tear up. I've been watching but been silent since my sub. Just wanted to drop some respect instead of constant lurking. Oh, well, thanks, man. Uh, this episode feels like final form and Clone Wars and Ahsoka has been great so far as the entire cast and writers. I think the, the, the Filoni universe is a real thing, as Josh was saying, and I believe um, maybe we can catch him on a stream. I think he's streaming right now, so we could maybe bring him in here and uh see what he thinks parth says no way that was pretty wild fight is too long standing against trained force user yeah i didn't like the fight i thought the fight was kind of lame i was like well okay no hold, hold up hold up hold up. no ahsoka didn't want to kill her 
she wanted information, so she was dragging the fight out. That's the way I think of it. That's the way I see it, at least. You know? So. How'd you like the sabers? The sound of the sabers is so iconic. Star Wars always about father figures. Lucas's vision is back and better than ever. It is. And when she said, when she mentioned what she, that she's seen what these emotions can do, do to a Jedi Knight, she was talking about Anakin Skywalker. And so I was getting, I was getting emotional at that too. Cause I was like, well, this is amazing, man. They're mentioning everything. Um, first Grogu being a Jedi youngling on Coruscant at the Jedi temple. I mean, like, but, but then, then how did he survive? Like, who took him? Like, oh, dude, what if Palpatine took him? Wow. What if Palpatine took him because he knew? And he's just been, like, running experiments on him the whole time. That's pretty crazy. That's weird. Um, I want Ahsoka and Luke to meet so bad. I think they will. I think they will in, in the third season. I think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a thing. Um, chills the entire episode. Oh, here's Josh calling me right now. Yo! Yo, uh, you want to go on uh, Discord? I'm I'm live right now, homie. Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm watching on delay. Sorry. Yo, uh, oh, cool. Do you want me to just voice for a second? I'll pop on uh, for a second. You want to do a uh, through Discord? Yeah, yeah, pop on. Yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna. I'm calling you right now. Hey, bro. Yo. Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. How wild was that, dude? <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that was oh, crazy. Man. That was. That was really cool. Man. Yeah, it was. What'd you think? I, I loved every second of it. What did what did you think? What did you think of uh, of Ahsoka? How she fought and everything? I what thought how she fought think? was amazing. I thought how she looked was amazing. Her voice, everything was just on point. Um, how about that opening scene, man? I did like, not expect that, was... that. They like they threw that on us like right away. The way she like disappeared into the dark without her saber yeah. was epic. And the way yeah, she was just was... running in, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it was absolutely it's insane. So cool. I, you know what's so crazy? I mean, of course, like you know, all the comparisons are gonna uh, happen. Um, but I think it's fair to say a lot of us were sort of wondering, like, well, what's a prequel era Jedi going to look like? Yeah. Uh, in in the Mandalorian, and man, she looked great. Uh, I felt like it wasn't necessarily as extravagant as prequels like literally the prequels yeah but very cool man like it was effective what do you and, what do you think about grogu being uh trained at the jedi temple yeah so i've thought a lot about this right and um i just it's it's crazy he must um i mean he's special in a lot of different ways likely right everyone's saying go to uh, 1533 why what, what happens to 1533 yeah, what are they talking about? All right, let's see here. What happens at 1533? He's obviously very special. Um, I, there's a lot still that we don't know, which is great. I'm wondering why, like, was there, was there something nefarious going on? You know, I've thought a lot about the episode in Clone Wars where Palpatine mm -hmm. hired Cad Bane to um, kidnap the four sensitive children. Oh, maybe, yeah. 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 So, like, he was obviously dabbling and and doing this kind of thing um, around that time. But it seemed like if he was at the temple, if Grogu was already at the temple and had been trained by different. Jedi oh, masters, whoa! Sorry, bro. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, yeah, Morai is in this. Holy crap! At fifteen. Left. I didn't even notice. That's insane. What's the time? Uh, fifteen thirty-two. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, and she's yeah, and yeah, you yeah. can just, you can still see her in the background too. Yeah, what? Pretty, pretty epic, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. They went for it. They went for they it. Went so for all of you in the chat who don't know Morai, is Morai is the daughter. She's the daughter of um, Mortis, basically. And Mortis is like this... In the Clone Wars, it was like this hidden 
secret sort of planet where um, the father, the daughter, and the son were there. Uh, the son was basically the the embodiment of the dark side and the daughter was the embodiment of the light side the father was in between and anakin was supposed to take the father's place eventually but he never did he declined and more i gave her last um breath long story short um her last bit of energy to save ahsoka and so now she just follows ahsoka around everywhere so yeah man that's pretty wild that's really cool <clears throat> Yeah, very wild, very very cool. Um, I, dude, I thought uh, the tone and the um, the music, man, with all the like Eastern themes, very samurai. Very. Kind of, I really like the composition. I liked. I. It's it's funny because it's kind of like a small episode when you think about it because it's really just the set piece of the town, which is really streamlined and it's just the big temple with the magistrate. You know what I mean? And the yeah. little shanties. Yeah. Uh, and then and then the wilderness, but it. it, it the way it's shot and with the music and everything, it, it has this epic kind of sense to it. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, man. What did you it think of? I've been dying to know what you think of Tython and the fact that we are now going to freaking Some like Tython. deep legends lore. I think that Luke's going to come into the picture. I really do. I mean, if any, pl you know, I'll be honest. With you. So this is the thing that's crazy, right? Up until this moment, <clears throat> I thought. There's no way they're going to do that. And if they did do it, it would feel sort of shoehorned or it wouldn't feel right. I was kind of against it, right? Yeah. Um, with, with this being revealed, it almost feels like if they don't have Luke involved, it, it almost now is starting to feel like that'd be a missed opportunity. Like that would not... It, be well, it just wouldn't make sense to the story if they don't. That's the thing. So her, her right. mentioning that was just foreshadowing for Luke. Because, I mean, there's no... She's like, there's not many Jedi left, blah, blah, blah. Luke is really the only Jedi that we know really that's left like as big as ahsoka sure ezra whatever but you know luke is the the guy true true yeah it's uh, it's pretty wild man um and then of course the other massive massive thing is uh grand admiral thrawn i know thrawn Yorodu. that's uh, wild thrawn name dropped like that and not just name dropped but that was her quest that's what ahsoka is there for right i agree rodrigo thank you for that man uh 100 bucks this was so emotional for me and such a hard time in life for me and for such an episode with emotions for yoda and ahsoka in live action and finally the bond being between grogu and din i hope you all loved it and let's thank filoni yeah do i think big ups to filoni oh, um of course for what he did of course. um yeah like i cried Dude, I don't know if you cry. I, I, when she mentioned Yoda at the temple, I was just like, this is too much, man. I don't know. I just I teared up for a second and got it together. I, I was just in shock. Like, the, man, like, it's, I, I'm still kind of in shock, to be honest. Um, they, to be so bold, it, it's just so funny because, you know, uh, there's a lot that could be said for sort of the state of Star Wars and, uh, you know, where the brand is at and just the, the fan base, et cetera, et cetera. You know, yeah. everybody knows what's what. Yeah. For them to be this bold yeah and just go for it with this character um, that, dude that's what we need did you do you want to go on camera you can turn your camera on i can i can throw you on screen if you want nah brother I mean, are you I in your pjs can, are you in bed <laughs> no no i'm actually i'm gonna get ready in a second uh i'm i'm chill for like 10 more minutes with you and then i'm probably cool. gonna start up uh just your own stream whatever, right but, yeah okay cool yeah 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 but uh nah man i uh i just i, I wanted to chat it up with you real quick about this because like too like whoa like the the implications here brother like the implications are almost that's the it, thing be, a lot of people yeah, don't realize what it could lead to that's that's what oh, i'm like man. stoked on yeah precisely and like that the meta the metaphorical in the metaphorical sense it's like they're going for the heart yeah of star wars tython is the birthplace of the jedi in legends yeah yep. you know what i mean yeah so it's like they're going to the the place. the place, the place, the Jedi. I don't even know how to say it. Probably, I always say like Jedi. It's 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 J E apostrophe D A I I I or something or I I. I love but it's like, the Dawn of the Jedi, dude. I yeah. love Tython, the Ashla, of the Bogon, uh, that whole concept, which is repeated. It's it's metaphorically repeated in the in, in the Rebels, Morris right? Arc, but yeah. also, yeah, of course, with um Bendu, right? Yeah, so Bendu talks about it um yeah. you know it's funny this ties into some of the things i think you've been talking about with luke skywalker too potentially and um what they could do right with luke's 
Right, like his insight into the Force. I, I don't think Star Wars is ever going to be the same. I don't think the fandom will ever be the same after this. This is just, there's just too much. Like this is, this is as if like George Lucas directed it or did something. You know, this is yeah, like man. the real deal, man. It's not even like a little like oh another company bought it and now they're. This is like Dave Filoni took the reins and is like no we're doing it we're doing this. Oh he obviously I mean like if you are out there and you are doubting the Filoni verse still I, i'm a believer I just, i'm now i'm yeah, a believer like, i i just it's crazy that they clearly just gave this dude uh and john and look there's so much that we still don't know and there's so many theories and so there's so much fun to be had as a star wars fan uh moving forward here and that's really what is important to be thankful and grateful for but yeah it really feels like this guy's got the keys now you know yeah. and uh we're we're going for it dude this is this is bold this episode had more lightsaber maybe more lightsaber fighting than than the yeah. sequels right I, yeah like, i know that, i know yeah. i know that's so funny i mean that's so funny dude uh yeah. someone says uh hold up r2d2 in the artwork at the end at 4228 let me see this 42 Oh, in the in credits. That's interesting. I don't see. It. Oh, yeah, he's like in the corner. What the heck's he doing there? On the left. What the hell? F what's the timestamp? Forty-two. Uh, forty-two twenty-eight. Yeah, he's uh, R two D 2s there. Or maybe, maybe it's just another astromech droid. I don't know. Could be. But I mean, it's in the concept art, so maybe it's a little foreshadowing. Um, hmm. Morgan well, says, for... Boba Fett helmet signed, Daniel Logan for $300 worth it. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to you, man. I, I'd want it signed by Jeremy Bullock. That'd be cool. Man, she looked great. I love the Beskar uh, spear, too. What a cool little concept to, to be able to introduce, like, a little fight like that at the end. Yeah. And Ahsoka was just, like, toying with her, you know what I mean? Yeah, because like, she wanted information, man. That's why she didn't kill her right off the bat. I already saw someone was, like, a little... I was upset. I was like, why is she not killing her? And then I realized, oh, yeah. okay, well, yeah. Yo, how about, uh, how about Din kind of holding his own little bit there, man, you know? Mm -hmm. Our boy's come a long way. Like, he, he, has, he wrapped yeah. her up. He, uh, he did good. Yeah, he did, well... He got owned, but yeah, at least he wrapped her up. And he, he was like, "Yo, and he, he's like, yo, yo, stop, 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 poke at me, it's okay." Right. That's uh, like that, like little brother, big brother thing. Where, yeah. Like, like, stop! Like, oh, I, I don't know. Right, right, right. I yield, yeah. uncle. Yeah. Funny man says, "I love Mace, but Mace was not in the temple at the time of Order sixty six. We would have known it was one hundred percent Jocasta new, not Windu. So hyped. Could yeah, it could be Jocasta new. Probably was. To be honest, she seems like the motherly type figure." Could be. Yeah. Since Anakin didn't kill her now, she didn't. He didn't. He didn't Legends. Right. Okay. So they changed that in that comic then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Vader killed her. Yeah. Well, brother, I mean, you uh, I'm going to let you go, and, but I, I'm sure you, dude, you're going to be, I'm sure we're both going to be cranking. <laughs> we're going to be a place. Oh, yeah, my God. Dude. We got a it's, ton to talk about on Monday. Yeah, dude. It's going to be real cool, man. It's going to be real yeah. cool. Yeah, and there was a Loth cat in there too, which was pretty Dude, dope. Yes, yes, yes. All right, bro, go do your thing. Um, you're gonna be on Denner Nerds Live. Denner Nerds Live, yeah. I'll okay, be on guys. The live channel. If you guys want to go like check him out, minutes. yeah, he's gonna be on the Denner Nerds Live in uh, ten minutes. So, go check check All him right, there bro. once once I leave or during I leave. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. This is this is the way, brother. This is the way, brother. All right. All right, man. Congratulations, bro. As a Star Wars fan. Heck yeah, dude. You too. All right. Late. Peace, bro. Bye. Dude. Man. Damn. I'm going to go watch it again. Uh, I'm going to get through your guys' uh, questions, and hopefully I can answer some of them. And then um, I'm going to get through uh, watching it again and then do the breakdown. Uh, 21,000 of you here, which is really cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. I hope... Next week, you'll join in as well, because I think next week's going to be a cool episode. Uh, what if Luke is on Titan? Hey. What if he's there? Um, someone donated 1K. 
Uh, no, so they don't. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah, it was an it was uh, a different currency, so it, but extremely generous, and I, I really appreciate all of it. Anyways, so um, first off, just finished episode the episode, so I may repeat stuff. But best Star Wars content I've seen in twenty years. Final from the Clone Wars. Ahsoka never said I am not a Jedi. Thrawn is back, back, and Grogu grew up in the temple. Yeah, so someone said that Jocasta knew took him, and I could actually see that. I'm I'm trying to think. I'm like, who could it have been, man? Anakin took out pretty much everybody, and then now I think I'm like, Joe Costa New is still alive. So yeah, Joe Costa New was. Uh, if you guys don't know, that was the um, the librarian in Episode Two uh, that goes up to Obi Wan Kenobi, and she's like, um, <laughs> he's like looking for a star system, and then she's like, if it does not exist in our records, then it does not exist, and then just walks away. And that's actually where we also get a cameo of George Lucas's son which is pretty cool as well. The big question right now is where is Sabine? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like maybe she's on her own little mission or something. What about Jar Jar? So Jar Jar is a jester now in canon. He's just like a street performer. <laughs> this was from one of the books. I forgot which one. Um... What if Mace hid him from the temple and shows up at the stone? <laughs> yeah, right. Wow, could you imagine that? What? Dude. What if Mace did take him? What if he's like, okay, you know what? Instead of like going back up there and fighting, I'm just going to go and save Grogu. Whoa, that's kind of a cool theory. That's kind of a cool theory, man. I got to say. That's pretty wild. I think Mace, it could have. You can see R2-D2 at 12 minutes behind the bushes. Really? Let me see this. Um, I don't see him. Behind the bushes where? It could have just been another astromech droid, so it's not really a big deal. It's fine. Kara Dune is a strong... Oh, Seer Junda is a strong option. She's established as having an, as having fled with younglings and then is separated violently from them. Um, yeah, from Fallen Order, maybe. What a way to start off my birthday. The opening scene was killer. In Dave We Trust. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna tweet out right now. In Dave We Trust, I need all of you to go and retweet that. Done. Boom. That was insane. Still can't get over it. Sabine with Ezra. There was a loath cat, which is usually Ezra's thing, and Filoni and Ezra and Thrawn were alive. And Filoni said Ezra and Thrawn were. I know Filoni's alive, thankfully. Uh, and Ezra and Thrawn were alive. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. Obviously, if she's looking for Thrawn, I don't think he's on the planet. Um, he must still be somewhere in the unknown regions or something, and she's trying to find him and track him down. 4257 is so good. Wish that was how it was in it. Forty two fifty seven. The concept art? Oh, yeah, it's cool. But, oh, with the hood? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Sabine's looking for Ezra. She might appear soon. I don't want Luke to appear. He would take Grogu back to his temple, and we know how that ends. That's true. But it might end differently. He might, you know, become a Mandalorian or something, you know? How am I supposed to go to sleep now? I'm not going to sleep, dude. I'm going to be up for the next, like, nine hours. Probably more. <laughs> There's so much to cover. I bet now is the moment that she goes to get Sabine... Whoa, Rodrigo, thank you again. I think Grogu, as Ahsoka says, Grogu could call the Force to another Jedi, Luke, or he could not. In that way, I think he could actually reject the Force at that moment, and Gideon will come at that moment. A little theory I have, a Mexican in 
Oh, what'd you say? I'm Mexican. It's not the U.S. dollar, guys. I know everyone's freaking out. Uh, I appreciate it, Rodrigo. Yeah, um, that's... So, one thing I got wrong was that Moff Gideon would show up on Corvus, and he didn't. So, I guess he's still tracking him down, perhaps? So, then... Perhaps, now he'll track him on Titan. And Ahsoka might show up there, but maybe what if the Jedi that senses... Grogu will be Luke and will show up to fight Moff Gideon. That'd be interesting. With the Spear Din God, he can withstand the Darksaber and so can his armor. That's a cool change they made to the Beskar and its ability to withstand lightsaber blows. Yeah, you're right. Now that he has that spear, he's able to actually fight. Fight with a sword, so to speak. Um, are his dueling capabilities better than Moff Gideon? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, it felt like Final Form of Clone Wars. Entire episode, for some reason, gave me vibes that Cal and Ezra may be on the path forward. Secret Typhon... It, it, Titan. Titan Temple with Master Cal and Ezra. It's very possible. Um, but I think Ezra's stuck in the unknown regions with Thrawn, right? So, I could see maybe Cal being there. <laughs> Legendary say Cal Kestis was a small pattern one during Order 66. It can't be him. Hello, by the way, through Hello, man. How you doing, Sam? Uh, could Grogu meet Yoda's ghost at the temple? I'm sure Frank Oz would do it. Yoda could call Luke to the temple. Well, what I think is going to happen, he's going to place him on the, the stone, and from there, yeah, just as uh, someone said, he may actually reject his belonging to become a Jedi and follow that path and he may say you know what no i'm gonna just learn my own way here with you dad and just be with din and become a mandalorian perhaps it's crazy to, like there's the theories are endless at this point so i got my work cut out for me but i think i'd really like to see luke that's all i all i know i'd really like to see luke does kylo kill baby yoda i think baby yoda is more powerful than kylo what if Sabine is with Bo... What if Baby Yoda and Kylo are friends? What if Sabine is with Bo to take back Mandalore? That way, they can all kind of connect together by the end of the season or next season. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, we never get the name of the planet Luke built his new temple on. Po probably trying... Tying in the sequel plot. If they do, go big or go home if you do it. I agree. Just bring Luke in. It, it makes sense, you know? Otherwise, what, you're going to find another Jedi in the next, what, two episodes or something? Or here's what happens. Maybe we won't see a Jedi. Maybe we're just going to... Maybe Luke calls out to Grogu and goes on to train him. You know? And then season three will have Luke in it. So we have to wait another year. Either way, we're almost at the end, so... Um, you know, three more episodes. Uh, we never get the name. Uh, in the opening, I thought the magistrate was initially Sabine's mother. I was glad to be wrong. Happy Thanksgiving from the States, bro. Hey, thanks, Zach. Uh, the tracker on the ship is still there, so we may see a major action scene with Luke. Well, we're going to see action with Moff Gideon, regardless, very soon. I think in the next episode. And there's three episodes left, so I could see Luke showing up in the eighth. I really, really can. At least like a cliffhanger kind of thing what if a clone saved grogu oh interesting i love that idea yeah i really like that idea that's very nice my for first watch party none of my friends are star wars fans so i enjoyed watching with everyone keep killing it rosario bodied that as she was great yeah i'm really thankful for all of you here too uh we got up to about twenty one thousand, and now we're at eighteen thousand, which is pretty cool man so what's someone saying Peppa's son. What's that? You were right in your theory. I thought it was BS, but you're so right. <laughs> Pretty much all my theories turn out to be... Ah, some of them are right, I guess. Yes, that was Morai. And what if Gideon was a Jedi? I don't, he's not, because if he was, he wouldn't be using Baby Yoda's blood, right? Or maybe his M-count isn't high enough. 
I'm pretty sure that Ahsoka and Grogu used telepathy and decided that Din would influence the Force and world if they remained together. The head not and smile said it all. The head nod and smile said it all at the end of the episode. It's quite possible. But I don't think Ahsoka's too into the whole, like, oh, uh, you gotta f not change the ways of the Force. Or it's like, I, I think she just does. Do you think she's a Jedi again? That's what I'm getting at. No. I think she is. Who do you cast as like? What does that mean? You think Kor could have saved... Seer could have saved Go, uh, Grogu? No. I don't think so. Could Grogu become a Mandalorian Jedi? Sort of a spiritual successor to Tar Vizsla? I think that's what's going to happen. Ezra is dead and gets turned into Snoke prototype. Ugh. I think that was one of the oldest theories I've seen about Snoke is that he's Ezra. I want Ahsoka to tell Luke and Leia about their death. But, but, but no, he's not because... Or unless they kill Ezra and take all of his force blood or something. I want Ahsoka to tell Luke and Leia about their dad. Yeah, so like how Din and Ahsoka sat down in this one. I want to see that with Luke and Ahsoka. I think there's so many stories that could be swapped there and so many things as we as the audience could learn uh, regarding Anakin and regarding the Jedi and, and Vader and the Emperor. Ezra is dead and gets turned into snow. Could Grogu become... Yes, he will. I think so. Game of Thrones Easter egg, by the way. Why? Was there a uh, a cup somewhere? You think Seer... I don't think Seer is... Uh, I don't know. I didn't like Seer too much. Based on how they ended the episode, do you think that Ahsoka will get her own show or just a reoccurring role in Mando? I think she will get her own show. I can't see how she wouldn't. I think Luke would be a stretch. While it would be awesome, Mark Hamill was the perfect age for sequel era movies. They'd need a lot of CGI and makeup. Yeah, unless they get another character, another actor, right? Sebastian Stan. My bad. Who do you cast as Luke? Sebastian Stan. Yeah. Do you think the show is being hijacked to build the lore and universe and isn't really about Mando anymore? He's just a vessel for the trivia show? For the trivia now? No. I think it's they're doing an, a, fin a fantastic job and... They're not building it for the lore. The lore exists in there. The lore is there, right? So it would make sense for them to follow what is already there instead of create some new crap, right? So I'm I'm loving that they're doing this. It's great. Like, you have to realize, this is the stuff that was canon, was around when George was around. This extended universe. This is what is now Legends, but now, again, it's canon. So it's just awesome dude this is a huge day for star wars fans and a lot of people who get it get it and a lot of people who don't will come to learn this is a day this will be a day long remembered i think that's how he says it. did you notice the owl while din was searching for ahsoka i did mace windu saving baby yoda that's a good theory i don't think ahsoka sees herself as a jedi maybe she refuses to train grogu because of what she saw anakin go through and she can't handle that again what if rex went back and saved grogu since he had to find wolf and gregor how old would How old would look bet at this time? What? I don't think Ahsoka is a Jedi because she was killing everyone in her way. Could be a corrupt Jedi showing. No, uh Jedi kill people. They kill bad people. Plo Koon, I didn't see Plo Koon. What if Cal Katarn is the Jedi that comes to Tython? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be awesome. Do we think the Magistrate was supposed to be related to the Kuat Drive Yards family? Ahsoka made mention that she supplied the Empire with starships. Oh, which could tie in Fallen Order. Pretty cool hearing her talk about Yoda and Anakin. I got emotional when you did. Yeah. It hit home, man. It hit home. Thrawn leads to Yuzon Vong to new trilogy. Perhaps... Mace will sense Yoda's baby at the stone and will train him, hopefully in a heritage, in a hermitage, so he can survive past episode 9. Everyone is overthinking this. The episode is called The Jedi, and Ahsoka said that she was trained in the Jedi Temple before the Jedi that they're referring to is Grogu. Ahsoka said that he was trained in the Jedi Temple, therefore the Jedi they're referring to is Grogu. 
Oh, yeah, maybe. Only two characters that might or gonna appear next is Captain Rex, Sabine Wren, or both. We seen Ahsoka, Tano, Bo, and Boba. Do you think we're gonna see Boba again? Don't you think Ahsoka's Montrals are too short? Yeah, I think so. She's quite old by now, and one would think they would be longer. Also, Grogu is quite similar. That's that's kind of the only thing I had with her look, is that I feel like the Montrals would be longer. Um, they're longer in Rebels, but maybe live action just gets in the way too much? I don't know. I feel like Mark Hamill would jump on a roll here. Me too. Thank you, Revan. So we forgot, but guys, I'm sorry if I'm missing some of your messages. There, there are so many, and uh, I really appreciate it, but I, I'm going to have to get going here. I want to watch it again, and I want to get that breakdown out. I want to really get everything down. Who do you think will play Thrawn? Could Quinlan Voss have taken Grogu? Yeah, because we don't... Dude, that's the thing about Quinlan, is we don't actually know what happened to him after this. Right? We, do, we don't know yet what his fate is with Order 66. And... I had to actually write him out of uh, the fan film because I was like, well, that's not really like, what if they decide to leave him alive or something, you know? It might be a little bit weird. So, yeah, anyways, going back to that, we don't know if he's alive or dead. Thoughts on the relationship between the Magistrate and Th Thrawn. Also, the music in the episode was great. Ahsoka's theme, Binary Sunset, and Mando theme in the same place, I think. The music was very phenomenal. They did a really good job with Ahsoka's theme. Um, they put it, like, everywhere. It was great. Uh, but not too much, so it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know about this Magistrate and Thrawn. Obviously, she did something for his starships or getting his fleet assembled or something like that. And she comes from the Clone Wars, and she ended up being angry or something? Or, like, her parents died, and she, she was, like, angry, and then I have to watch it again. Who do you think will play Thrawn? Benedict Cumberbatch? I don't know. My bad. Tython. Ahsoka spoke of Thrawn as though he is findable. She also held more of a Jedi candor, but spoke of Thrawn with the tone of revenge. Theory Ezra was turned by Thrawn. Ooh. Maybe. You think so? I don't think so, though. I don't think Ezra would turn. You think Ahsoka knows whether Mando is... Wh whether Mace is alive or not? Also, she can communicate with Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin. I think Mace is alive, dude. I don't think he's dead yet. Did you see the Lothcats? I feel like Filoni put that in there purposefully. No way Ezra doesn't show up in Mando. I feel like he will be the one who shows up on Tython. But we also saw a Lothcat in, um, like, episode four of season one or something. Right? So, I'd like to see Luke with young Kylo on Tython. I think now is the moment she goes to get Sabine for that scene at the end of Rebels, then off to find Thrawn and Ezra. So, so I think what's going to happen is Ahsoka's going to take her own show, and then um, maybe with Bo-Katan, and Luke is going to have his also own show, which will tie in Grogu and Mando. I think that's maybe what will happen. Or I guess Luke will join this show, is what I'm saying. Maybe a Jedi didn't even save Grogu. Maybe someone from the dark side. Ahsoka mentioned that Grogu said his time in secret was dark and lonely. Grogu has even choked Kara. That's true. There's much fear that she sensed in him, so what if Mace Windu took... <laughs> Do you think that the Gris could show up since Thrawn was named, dropped, the unknown regions could be explored? Yeah, maybe. I would like to see the Yuuzhan Vong, but I, I feel like they're maybe long gone. I don't know. Like, long gone legends. What if Ahsoka is the armor to hide people using masks? No. No. No way. Her voice was, she had an English accent, right? Ahsoka doesn't. What happened to the Yodel during, the Yadel during Order 66? She may have, well, in Legends, she, uh, she died to save Anakin. Yeah, she caught a bomb and blew up. Also, Ahsoka's sabers are white, so no longer Jedi blue. Right, so you might have missed some stuff. So, um, she doesn't have those sabers anymore. Her white sabers are um they're they're purified crystals from the inquisitors yeah trevor coffin thanks man thoughts on the possibility of grogu meeting luke versus a force ghost of obi-wan or yoda or even yadel or oppo or coleman or even kira vantala potentially crossing over yeah maybe 
I think Luke is the most sure. I hope Thrawn will be played by Lars. What? What if Groku... You mean Grogu does dark side and that's what Luke meant when he tried to kill Ben Solo? Nah. I think it would be cooler to see Cal Kestis show up as they go to the temple. Just me? I think Cal Kestis would be cool, but I think what a lot of us want to see is Luke Skywalker. Just be Luke Skywalker. I think this is the way to do it. And I think it's coming, man. Def think we need a show about Bo-Katan, Sabine, and maybe Ezra. Fight Gideon for Mandalore, the Darksaber. Far-fetched, but I believe Din could be Force-sensitive. It felt like it teased a bit in this episode. What do you think? I don't think so at all. We need a show with Bo, Sabine, Ezra, and Gideon. Yeah. The possibility has my mind racing. This opens a chance to bring back Legends to canon. I've never been so excited for Star Wars in such a long time. Me too, Brendan. I think that's why at the beginning of this, I was like, I feel like this episode is going to change everything for us, for us as fans. I think it's really going to change everything. I love the samurai movie vibe of this episode. I wonder if, right, this reminded me of Seven Samurai a little bit, just with two people. I wonder if Ahsoka is the one who tells Luke about Sidious. In Game of Thrones, he uses a spear in the Viper and the Mountain. Oh, he ha he now has a spear that can combat a Jedi, or in this case... Oh, right, his spear that he would always twirl around. I remember that, and then he got his eyes pushed in. <laughs> Been saying for years, Filoni is the key. In Rebels, Ezra was shown to be mal malleable by Maul, and more capable and stable mind. Thrawn could slow... Could show Ezra the benefit, especially with Caleb Doom gone. You have a point. Yeah. Ahsoka was afraid to train because of Anakin, but Luke might train him as he knows Grogu can change because Darth Vader turns back to the light side. That's very true. Do you think they can explain Luke's exile that would satisfy haters, lovers of new sequel trilogy? Either way, do you have any idea that may fix the divide? Not really. Something I was thinking of was maybe Luke goes into exile. And I mentioned this in my previous theory video about Luke and Ahsoka. Um... He goes into exile because he doesn't want the Empire to get his blood. Because if he gets his, if they get his blood, then um, Sidious comes back. So he just hid away, cut himself off from the Force, and that's that. And um, that could maybe make things a little easier, but still, it'll never change anything at the end of the day. Thrawn's voice actor and new Grindelwald's brother. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen? Oh, Grindelwald's brother. Um, this makes Yoda... There is another quote from Return of the Jedi, a lot more open for interpretation now as well. Yeah, but I don't like going back to changing that. Leia was the one that is the other, right? But it definitely does leave it for interpretation for sure. Why not tease Obi-Wan's show and have him feel Grogu be a good tease? Wait, what if Obi-Wan took him? No. He was fighting Grievous. Had to Hard to imagine Luke training Yoda in the series. I hope it is Luke, but it'll probably be Ezra. By the way, I think I saw a uh, um, Morai in the woods before Ahsoka appeared by Mando. You did. Do you think they could tie in the show to Lucas' original sequel trilogy? It was so underwhelming, and I think it would be amazing to see that. I think. I hope. Grogu chooses the Force. Gideon shows up and hunts and hurts Din. Grogu uses the dark side to protect him, but then scares him into rejecting the Force. Maybe. I could see him turning to the dark side and, and using some force lightning or something. But, I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, I'm going to take a pee break. I'll be right back. <laughs> Drank too much water.
have returned. <laughs> Did you like that little screensaver? Um, what if on the Seeing Stone, Grogu has a dark side force vision like that in the cave, proving Ahsoka's point? Love your videos, man. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think... So the thing with Dagobah and the reason he had a lot of uh, dark visions there was because it was on a, on a dark side force nexus, whereas Tython is a stronghold for the light side of the force. He's got a lot of good energy. So I don't think he'll have any dark visions. I think he'll have just a, a clear mind. Could Mace have taken Grogu? Maybe. All Jedi trained after Ahsoka had attachments when trained so they would be better teachers, you would think. Yeah, I, th I feel like she's still really jaded from Anakin, which, fair enough, you know, it shows that that's her character and that's where that lies, so. Grogu becomes Luke's Padawan and gets killed by Kylo Ren later down the road. I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like Grogu is more powerful than Kylo. What about you as Luke? Does no one else see it? Who? What, ab what about you as Luke? What do you mean? Me? I feel every famous character will come together towards the end and take back Mandalore and Grogu will stay with Din. Boba, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know where Boba resides on all this. Is he, like, good? Is he bad? I really want to see him be on the side of the good guys, but I... probably not. Probably not, dude. Jason Sindula? Yeah, where's he at? Where's Hera at? Where are all these characters at? What if Grogu's fate is to join Luke's school and to ultimately die? <laughs> Hope not. How crazy would it be if Anakin came back as a Force ghost and trained Grogu? I don't know how plausible that could be, but that would be sick. It would be sick, but unrealistic. Grogu chooses... I love that you guys are using his name now. Grogu chooses the Force. It, within, like, a moment, Baby Yoda's gone, and it's Grogu. Gideon shows up and hurts Din. Grogu uses the dark side to protect him, but then scares him into rejecting the Force. I think a lot's going to change in the next few episodes where Moff Gideon shows up and things really take a, a turn for... Uh, I mean, over there, I feel like it's just going to be... It's just going to be Din and Grogu. So, it's, you know, who's going to save him? realistically so um i think moff gideon and din might fight now now that i think of it i hope it's luke oh you think it's ezra no oh. nah maybe but i don't know besides luke i'd like to see nothing more than ahsoka and anakin reconnecting such a tragedy give us anakin force ghost I don't think we're going to see Anakin until um, Obi-Wan show in flashbacks. And then as Vader, maybe. Where does the power lie between Thrawn and Gideon? Neither would bend the knee. I need clarity here. They say Grogu grew up and trained on the temple. Time doesn't add up if he's 50, right? Am I crazy? Um, no, it does. So he's 50 years old. That's That's all it is. So Anakin would have been 50 at this time as well. Thoughts on Grogu potentially being a part of Rey's new Jedi Order along with the... Oof, I don't want that. Do you think Din will fight Gideon with that staff? Well, yeah, I mean, it's meant to resist a lightsaber, so... Is it possible Din is Force-sensitive and will learn to connect with Grogu? I don't think he's Force-sensitive, man. Yeah. Rosario Dawson was pretty good as Ahsoka, waiting for the tweeter trolls to lose their minds. Overall, a good episode. I think they're gonna... You think everyone's gonna love it, don't you think? Do you think Ahsoka owns... Do you think Ahsoka owns the series? Oh, do you think Ahsoka's own series will be going off to find Thrawn and Sabine based on the info we got from this episode? Yeah, I think the Filoni-verse is now very real. Ahsoka rocks. Enjoy, bro. Thank you, Jeff. How disappointing would it be if they do show Boba Fett, but he's not played by Tamora Morrison? Well, that won't exist, because he's... We already saw him. <laughs> so... But it would be very disappointing. Um, yo, thanks, Jen. Uh, 
Wafla Badger. If Luke does train him, I can only see the outcome, which is Kylo kills him. Otherwise, the sequels make no sense. Yeah, but maybe, what if he's still out there? You know? What if Baby Yoda, what, what if Grogu is still out there and if they want to make an episode 10, then it could be all about him and the, the, the children that he's training or something like that. And then maybe Rey goes to find him or whatever and learns. I don't know. Filoni needs to be appreciated. He's been awesome. He has. He is, he is the closest thing to George Lucas that we'll ever get again. Gideon dies and Thrawn unites the Empire. Do you believe the Loth cats are foreshadowing Ezra? Yeah, probably. His name may be Grogu, but to me, he will always be Baby Yoda. Also, since the ship was attacked, could Gideon come to Corvus and meet Ahsoka's Tano? What do you mean? I mean, he could probably follow the path, and yeah, maybe he could go to Corvus and fight Ahsoka. So stoked that they mentioned Titan. Your channel is awesome. Thank you. Do you think the Sebastian Stan will take a will, will be a deep fake template for Luke? Honestly, I hope he does. Uh, love the video. Thank you so much for your for your passion. Thank you, Bo. Thank you for watching. Did he ever? Did we ever really know exactly who was at the temple when Anakin went dark side ham? Who would have evaded that man to hide Gro, uh, Grogu? Yeah. So Joe Costa knew. Makes sense now. Okay, theory. Time to make that breakdown. So excited. Yeah, I'm going to get going here. Did you like the Rosario's acting? To me, it felt a little stiff, but also Ahsoka felt mysterious. I thought it was amazing. It was great. Much like Daughter's mysteriousness thoughts. I thought it was fantastic. So Ahsoka's supposed to be like, what, 40 at this point? So, I mean, it makes sense that she's... That she's, uh... A little more reserved, you know, she's, um, she's quite elite at this point. I wouldn't say Jedi Master, but she's far in there. I think, did you guys like her acting? What did you think of Ahsoka? I think there will be a fight between Mandalorians. They will fight the Imperials for Mandalorian. Bo will die, and then Din will fight Moff Gideon and wield the saber. I think Din's going to get the saber. I don't want Bo to die. I feel like Ahsoka's gonna die eventually. I mean, eventually, yeah, but I just, I just, I don't know. It's just my fear. Episode was groundbreaking not only by Star Wars, by us, but by us fans. Uh, I went nuts when I saw Ahsoka. I really think Luke and Ezra soon. Ahsoka lives. Do you think Caleb Doom took Grogu from the temple during Order 66? Thoughts? That's quite possible. But I'm going to say Jocasta knew because, I mean, he would have mentioned him once. Don't you think? Jar Jar at 1822. <laughs> what? I believe that Seer and Cal's fates are sealed in future games and other Jedi are probably only ever destined for small cameos. But what about Ezra meeting Rey eventually? Maybe. You don't think, Ez you don't think Cal's going to be in uh, live action? I mean, games and shows are all animated, you know, so they could come into live action just like Ahsoka did is it possible that Grogu gives his powers to give Mando oh that'd be so sad man I hope not could it be Obi-Wan that answers Grogu a way for him to get closure no a way for him to get closure by learning from his mistakes guiding Grogu to be a better choice to have a better choice than Anakin made no I think Luke will show up it's so crazy to think how much there is going to be on besides on screen. Anyways, love your channel and look forward to Monday. May the force be with you. Thanks, CJ. May the force be with you too, man. Could Ahsoka be using Din Grogu to find Ezra? Remember that she can't use temples. I don't think so. I think she's going to find her on her own journey, you know? I mean, the last we saw of them, they were yeeted into the unknown regions so same question if Luke is the one finding Grogu how old will Luke be and what actor can make his role so Luke will be five years older from Return of the Jedi which I think is 
like 30 what is there i think there was a what was this what was a time gap between episode four five and six i think there's a i think there's three years in all of that can someone correct me on that is it three years and then plus five is eight and luke was like 19 in episode four so he's like 27 28 so he's still pretty young i think if my math is not wrong or my information's not wrong anyways he's gonna be like just under 30 or around 30. So I think Sebastian Stan could do it. They just de-age him. I mean, look, they did it with Samuel Jackson in um, the Marvel, Captain Marvel movie. So why can't they do it here? What if Grogu was saved by a clone, hence why he took a liking to trusting the Mando because of the helmet similarities? Oh, maybe. Do you think they'll use the world between worlds to get things to be able to have a new sequel trilogy? They'd get their cake and eat it too? Well, that'd be nice. What if they get it? What if they... um? What if they do, like, a Snyder Cut thing? Where they just go and, like, remake it. Make, like, another version. What if Mace, who was saved by Gro What if Mace saved Grogu, then Mace shows up, then Boba has been tracking them, and Mace and Boba have a showdown? It'd be interesting. I feel like... Boba killing Mace is very poetic. Sticks and crits, uh, all I can say, man, is um, just keep looking for like-minded people. Most of my friends are online, bro. So, yeah. Uh, like Josh, like he, he lives in the States, you know. I, I, he lives in a completely different time zone. Uh, is it possible for an heir of Clan Viz let to train Grogu? Grogu and Anakin born at exactly the same time. He could be the real chosen one to just restore the Jedi after Rise of Skywalker. Yo, Mello, what up? I loved Ahsoka, but I feel her head tails could have been a little longer. Your thoughts on her live action look? That's the only thing I had a gripe with. Yeah, I feel like it could have been a little bit longer. For sure. Then that means Sebastian Stan will play as Jedi Master Luke? I hope so, with Luke's voice. Legitimate question, how did Ezra and Thrawn survive that jump without a spacesuit of some sort? The Force. I don't know. Pergil. Reese Mercer. Grogu and Anakin born at exactly the same time. He could be the real chosen one to restore Jedi after the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe there's, there were apparently... So in the book, um, Master and Apprentice uh, with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, which is canon, there were like tons of different prophecies. It was crazy. There was a prophecy about Leia, about Kylo, about uh, Sidious returning. It was... Um, yeah, it was wild. Cal may come to live action, it's just assuming he survived the purge, and he'd have to be much older for us to see him in upcoming projects, as much as I love that actor. This is probably a crazy theory since I don't know where he was at this time, but what if Boba saved Grogu? It would explain why he took a likeness to Mando and another reason Boba followed him. Mm, it was an interesting theory, but I just don't see that happening. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't know, man. Was only Grogu saved from the temple in Order 66? There could be another youngling that didn't get cut down by Anakin. I can't imagine whoever saved Grogu would have saved, would have tried to save other younglings. Yeah, maybe there was a band of them, you know? Maybe there was a bunch of them that were saved, and it could be Seer, I don't know, or Siri. Um... Whoever it was, they saved Grogu, and I think it's Jocasta New. I like that theory. Okay, also, if Grogu is to meet Luke and not force Ghost Yoda, wouldn't you think Grogu is meant to go train under Luke at his new school? Just seems less likely than Yoda. Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to? What if he rejects that life, right? Ahsoka gave him the option. So...
I just, you guys gotta watch the breakdown that I'm gonna put out. It's gonna have everything in there. And I'm gonna make a whole separate video on Titan. Because the amount of lore in there is... Pretty nuts. Also, Grogu is to meet Luke and not Force Yoda. Um, yeah. So, do you think... That the Jedi are following Din around? Hence the Lothcat and R2. I think it's just an astromech droid. Also, Ahsoka has a red and blue saber in 4302. What? What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Weird. That's super weird. That's crazy. Hmm. Maybe the original concept for her was to be, um... Using the lightsaber of a Sith and the, and the lightsaber of a Jedi. I don't know. It's interesting. What up, G-Money? They need to show off her power. She should have walked through all of them. She's fought Grievous, Asajj, etc. Yeah, well, I think she was, you know holding back a lot so that she could get that information out of the magistrate, right? Could the Bad Batch here save Grogu? Oh, I like that theory. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Luke was 19, then 22, then 23, plus 5 years. So, yeah, 28, then. Reese Mercer. Thanks. Tython, where Ahsoka told Din to take Grogu at the end of the episode is the Jedi starting planet in the Old Republic MMO. It's very deep lore. At this time, Luke training Jedi or beginning his academy. So at this time, I don't think is... Yeah, yeah, Ben, ben is like four years old at this point, I think. Ben Solo. I think it's inevitable that Grogu joins the new Jedi Academy. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Um... Yo, sticks. Don't worry about it, bro. It's all good, man. Um, yeah, man. Just uh, let's stay on the on the topic here. Uh, check out this YouTube time episode at ten crawl. What? The time jump in. So. Oh, I see. So Luke, you're saying Luke died at age fifty three? Yeah, I guess. What if Mace shows up, but Boba kills him soon after? Do you think Grogu is Yoda's and possibly Yadel's child, or is he unrelated to them? I think so. Yeah, I think it's like what we mentioned here earlier when 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 all of you were here, that Yoda's species is extinct, going extinct, and so him and Yadel had to, you know, get freaky and make a Grogu together. And then, of course, he was trained in the Jedi Temple. Theory. Thrawn killed Ezra, used his blood, but the M count was too low. Ahsoka's after Thrawn because of that. Also, do you like the name Grogu? I do like the name Grogu. It's grown on me. All of you are using it like crazy. So since they will be going to Tython, do you think we will see more of the New Republic? I'm sure they'll get that there at episode 8. So a two-episode kind of filler. Um, I think there's no more filler after this. Yeah, like episode 2. I think it's going to be pretty good. No, and even episode two showed a lot of the the, the relationship between father and son of Din and, and Grogu. Notice Yoda's theme when Ahsoka mentioned his name. Yeah, that's what made me tear up. What if Anakin's Force Ghost shows up and says, "Hey, Snips, the best Star Wars related thing I've seen." Makes me emotional. Much love from Chicago. Hey, I love Chicago, man. Much love, bro. If Thrawn is explored in the next season, who do you think will play him? I got money on Benedict Cumberbatch. I got money on him, too. I think he's a good match. Got the good right bone structure. What if Anakin saved Groku? No, dude. Anakin was far too gone. It's possible he never killed the younglings. I think that could be interesting. Also, I simped hard the whole episode. <laughs> so did I. No, so the thing with Anakin was he had to kill the younglings in order to get those Sith eyes in uh, on Mustafar in episode 3. And if he didn't get that, that was the thing, is if he didn't get that, if he didn't really truly unleash the power of the dark side and go in the dark side, then he wouldn't have had the power to save Padme, and that's the problem. 
That's why he had to do those things. And so when Anakin was crying on Mustafar, it, in the book it explains that he's not crying because of what he's done. He's crying of how far he's come from his original dream of when he was a kid and saw himself becoming this Jedi with a laser sword, right? So, yeah. A little fun tidbit. I could, I could talk about Anakin. Anakin lore, I, I know probably the best. He's the most interesting character to me. What if Anakin saved... Right. Since we hear Ahsoka in The Rise of Skywalker and all the other Jedi we heard are dead, do you think we'll see her death on screen? Yeah, probably. How do you rank this episode? Best ever, worst ever? Um, best ever. Yeah. Just the, just the overall emotion. Emotion and... Uh, the action was cool too. So, Everything. I wonder what Mark Fernandez is thinking right now. Miss your weekly chats with him. He texted me earlier. I will text him in a bit. It's the lighting in that frame. Ahsoka's white saber was deflecting a red blaster shot. Yeah, but then the other one kind of looks blue, right? Read the Titan Wikipedia page, Grogu's species. Maybe. What if Yoda goes on the hill and visualizes what happens in episode 7, 8, 9? If he chooses the Force, then he doesn't train, retconning the sequels. Eh, that'd be funny. It's clever. I think Luke will come looking because he just started his academy and is looking for Force-sensitive users, but I don't think Grogu will go with him. I agree. I think we'll get to see him. Why not Yoda and Luke or Ezra and Yoda? I don't know him with his funny ears. What if Grogu gets trained by Luke and then dies at the hand of Kylo? The night he took of Kylo, recruited some peeps, and then slaughtered the rest. I don't think that will happen. I think I'm going to say Grogu is still alive to this day right now. In the Star Wars universe, like after episode 9. I think he's still around. I think he's following his own journey. Is the Darth Bane books, he goes there to get a holocron. Do you think they'll mention dark powers within Titan as well? That would be hot. It would all be hot. I doubt Grogu is Yoda's child. Why would Yoda leave him at the temple to fend for himself when he went to exile? Well, maybe he sent him off somewhere uh, before going into exile. Or what if he doesn't know what happened to his own kid, you know? Voices in episode 9 equals alternate timeline. Veil, I wish. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Missed opportunity that neither HK called Mando Meatbag. Yeah. Yeah. They were 87, though, so, I mean, it's not the real 80, 47. We could learn about Grogu's fears at a Jedi temple. I think the next episode's probably going to be really cool. S 6, 7, 8. Ben Solo was born this year, 5 ABY on Gendrilla. Oh, so he was born right now. Okay. Wait, so then that would make him 20... Right, that would make him 24, 25 by the time Force Awakens comes around. Yeah. And Ray's like, what, 19? Or something? something like that. I think. Ahsoka said that someone hid Grogu, but no one knows who. Who could this helper be? Also, what about Thrawn coming back and taking Gideon's place? So I think... I think Gideon commands this part of the galaxy before the unknown regions and then Thrawn is overseeing the unknown regions part and Exegol and then when he comes here I think Thrawn is going to be I think he's going to be higher in command but I don't know if Gideon really would like that you know that's the thing so how does MF Boba Fett fit into all of this. That's the thing, man. Maybe he's going to show up later at the end of the episodes. Or the, at the end of the season. Or maybe in season three. I think it was just like a placeholder. Like, yo, he's alive. He's not dead. So that when we do see him again, people aren't going to be like, what? When did that happen? You know? Uh, I probably missed this part, but a discussion. But when Ahsoka mentioned a Jedi Knight falling due to attachments, I got chills. Me too. That was powerful. Yes, it was Anakin. So how does MF Boba... Right. Uh, can Grogu be a possible reference to Dave Filoni's connection to Avatar? Uh, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to bring that into here, do you think? 
Do you think Thrawn is currently in Chiss space? Yeah, maybe. Think Hayden Christensen will pop up in Mando? No. I wish, but no. I don't think we'll see him until uh, the Obi-Wan show in flashbacks. And then Vader taking his mask off. In my opinion, this episode felt like one of those Star Wars book covers come to life. So glad I woke up from my food come up. P.S. Cool channel will sub. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro. Is it possible that Luke already has found some Force users and brings them to fight the Death Troopers? So those, those aren't Death Troopers. Uh, those are Dark Troopers, and they're basically resistant. They're like massive mega Storm Troopers, but droids. They're like, they're like droid clone troopers, I guess you could say. Um, resistant to lightsabers. They had crazy armors. Uh, they had crazy weaponry and armor, and they were very agile. And they were also exoskeleton suits, so you could wear them. 1531, you can see more Eye the Owl. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that in the breakdown for sure. Dave Filoni did, in fact, confirm the possibility of Ahsoka being alive, so I think he leaves that open to interpretation. Maybe she's never gonna die. Maybe we just won't know. Longtime viewer, love you, man. Not sure if you covered it already, but more Eye 1532. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I didn't notice. So one of you guys mentioned, a lot of you guys mentioned it, and I was like, oh my god. You can rewind. What do you think of my Thrawn, Ezra, M count, Ahsoka theory? Huge fan of yours theory. Um, first time spending super chats. Finally stopped lurking, lol. I'm glad you stopped lurking, bro. What up? Um, what is your Thrawn, Ezra, M count? So, oh, with, with them taking Ezra and turning him into Snoke? Yeah, I don't want that to happen, though. Just like I don't want them to take Baby Yoda and turn him into Snoke. I just feel like it would be so... Ugh. You know what I mean? So it kind of begs the question is like, what are they going to do to bring Snoke alive? I don't know. I don't know. Is Grogu 50 when, if Grogu was 50 when, he, if Grogu is 50, he was born a while before the Phantom Menace sometime at, after the High Republic. No. So he was born nine years before the Phantom Menace. Yeah. So I did this calculation in a, breakdown a long time ago I think for season one yeah Tython would be a very good place to show some old Republic lore and Mando gets Rev Revan's mask oh wow wouldn't that be cool <laughs> in some of Filoni's art Ahsoka has ballet like shoes after a white cloak and a white cloak he had here she had boots and a gray cloak. Is the concept art her pants look like a hakama? Yeah, so I got some major Japanese vibes from this episode. Tython would be a very good place to throw some. Uh, in Thrawn, there is a quote of Palpatine not living forever and Thrawn being in a position to influence the next leader. More interesting now. Right, but we have to remember that Palpatine wasn't actually Palpatine in episode 9. He was just a clone. He was a clone body. And it was just his, his essence was inside of that clone body. But that clone body was like deformed and it wasn't properly grown. Uh, it had a lot of problems. I think Din and Grogu was at the Battle of Exegol. Maybe. Thanks, Imperox. Um, I don't think Din and Grogu were at the Battle of Exegol at all. Yeah, actually. Now that I think of it. What up, Theory? Great. Greet here. What up, Greet? I never thought Mando would turn out to be the masterpiece that he is. <laughs> I think George is proud today. I think George had a good amount of hand in this uh, in this show. As we can see, the behind-the-scenes um, images and stuff. He's with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and on set, which is cool. Yoda hired Boba to rescue Grogu from the temple. I don't think so. Does Ahsoka not want to train Grogu since she knows Luke and Leia are out there? Also, where is Captain Rex and Sabine if they aren't with Ahsoka? These are all questions we're going to have to wait to see the answer of, I think. I think Din and Grogu was at the possibility Mace Windu being Grogu's father. What? <laughs> so what? Mace Windu and Yadel got... No, dude. In Thrawn, there was a... No, yeah, there's no way, man. There's no way. What the hell? That's funny, though. 
And yeah, I definitely think this all leads to Luke. So he's he's the next one that's going to come in there. I think Din and Grogu... Uh, okay. Do you keep see, sending that or am I keep, keep reading it? Oh, I keep reading it. Theory. Obi-Wan, lucky enough for Anakin's, Force Ghost appears on Tython to direct Mando. Ezra's mind has been twisted by Thrawn and Mace is the one attempting to bring him back. It's extra. It's, it's a little extra, bro. But I dig it. The thing is that an average Togruta's lifespan is like 140. And since Ahsoka is a Force user, she could live past 200. Okay. I feel you. Are we positive that Grogu will be connected to the light side by the light side users as when we have seen him use the Force? It's always been selfish or aggressive ways. Yeah, that's what kind of has a lot of people wondering if Baby Yoda is going to or Grogu is going to use Force Lightning or something like that or if he's going to be evil. Because he does use some uh, rather questionable methods or abilities. I was really expecting Ahsoka to say, I am no Jedi in this episode and loved the music score from Rebels towards the end of the episode. Did you guys see when she pulled the lightsabers apart? That was kind of a nod to when she was fighting Vader, but she did it much faster. It's like, Phew. I love when she does that. It's cool. It's like what they're like, they're like pushing each other apart or something. Cal Kestis will, will replace Cal Katarn as protector in the Valley of the Jedi. I don't want him to replace him. Yeah. Is it possible Cal Kestis or Quinlan Voss could feel Grogu through the Force? Or in the next episode, maybe Leia. I think... Look, man, I, 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 I'm I, shipping for Luke. I think Luke's going to come in. I really think it's all about Luke. Cal Kestis wrote... Right. Love from Sweden. Hey, love from Canada, bro. I want to visit Sweden one day. Maybe I'll do a meetup whenever, uh, whenever I go. I'd love that. How do you think Thrawn will be fit into the narrative? Yeah, that I don't know. I think maybe Moff will be like, okay, our other fleet is coming in and uh, Thrawn arrives with his fleet. I don't know. Something like that. Been watching Clone Wars since 2008 when I was six. Do you think they did Ahsoka justice? I think so. Yeah. Do you? Do you think people are going to be mad? I think she's great. What if was the old man who had the saber and his cane... Who have... What? I can't understand any of that, man. Yeah, I don't I, Yeah, I don't know what that means. Do you think Grogu is part of the dozen that Luke trained? Same class as Ben Solo. Also mad love from here in New Zealand. Thanks, man. Um, I don't want him to be part of the ones that Luke trained. I want Luke to train him, but when it comes time to the sequels, I want Grogu to go do his own thing. You know, um, and Leon crafted. I wish I understood what you wanted to say, man. I, I didn't get it. Think Kira Vantala is still alive or Acolyte Verla, at least up till this point. Can you make a video on how Thrawn has survived the f finale of Rebels? Should the people who haven't watched it check it out be before they come into Mando? Um... I can make a video, but I feel like people should watch Clone Wars and Rebels. I feel like it's really going to fix a lot for them. I mean, I'm glad I finished Rebels, because if I didn't, I would have been a little bit confused. I might re-upload that top 10 facts about Thrawn video I made many months ago. Just so you guys see it again, those who are interested now. Do you think instead of like making a new one there's no point do you think ezra was recruited to the chiss ascendancy also why were ahsoka's montreal so short compared to rebels cold shrinkage <laughs> i don't know maybe that yeah it's possible um i you know i don't know about ezra he had a lot of the dark side in him so it's possible that he did turn but he's an interesting character he's an enigma is it possible Mace rescued him, used Mace training with a little bit of the dark side, and that's why Grogu can force choke and has dark experiences? I dig that. Yeah, I dig it, man. Yeah. Who would you cast as a live-action Thrawn? Benedict Cumberbatch. Maybe one of the children from the Gathering arc saved Grogu. Keep up the great work. Much love from Richmond. Hey, 
Much love, Ivan. What if Grogu accepts the offer to train with Luke, but later decides to leave to go down his own path, showing the start of Luke's temple? Yeah, that's what I like. I, I, I feel you there, Addison. That's what I want to see. I really want to see Grogu do his own thing. And I don't want it to be, like, too connected to, you know, Kylo and the sequels and all that. I mean... Once episode 7 starts, I feel like if they diverge and they take Grogu in a different direction, we can then get a show on Grogu, you know? Just on what he's doing now that he's older. So, if you remember, Yoda told Luke, um, for 900... What, what do you say? He said something that, basically, when I did the math, he was like 100 years old when he was training Jedi. I said, for 800 years trained Jedi or something like that and he was 900 years old so at 100 years old he has been <laughs> pretty much which kind of makes me wonder is like in this next 50 years does Grogu hit like a growth spurt perhaps who knows Rodrigo thank you man that's nice of you uh, I don't know what it is but the acting now is kind of bad Ah, I liked it. I grew up with Ahsoka and saw her in theaters when I was seven. In theaters? As a 19-year-old now, I feel like Star Wars has come full circle to me now seeing her in live... Oh, for the Clone Wars movie. She's my favorite character of all time. Do you think Baby Yoda will get placed on the stone and he will see his dark side part like Luke and Rey? Ah, uh, I hope not. But also, I don't think he would really care all that much. He would just see it as himself. Could it be that Thrawn was the founder of the First Order and that he was deposed by Gideon Snoke at the behest of Palpatine? That's a possibility. I could see Thrawn being the mastermind behind Exegol. I don't know about the First Order. But it is... It is possible. Most important question of the night. Do we think this is the start of Disney attempting to undo the sequel trilogy or will they double down on it? Uh, I think they're going to double down on it. Yeah, but I think they're just letting the right people be in control of it. I think Dave Filoni has proven time and time again that he knows Star Wars and he's been trained by George. And I mean, it's just it's a no brainer to put someone like that in charge. So it, I hope it's going to happen consistently. I've been watching for two years now and I love you. In your opinion, what will happen in the next episode? So in my opinion, the next episode... I hope it's not like one of those like oh let's stop let's have a pit stop and stop on some planet and like get a drink or something but he's gonna go to Titan Moff Gideon's gonna show up because where's he he's tracking him this whole time and I like that they didn't put him in this episode because it would have taken the attention away from Ahsoka so that's cool um, but they I feel like he's gonna go to Titan and eventually all hell is gonna break loose Gideon's gonna show up with his fleet the dark troopers are gonna get out of the ship and they're gonna fight Din uh, they're gonna beat him baby Yoda is gonna be I don't know about to be captured and then Luke senses that he is there is in danger and shows up with a band of his Jedi how cool would that be yeah, that'd be really sweet would it be possible for Grogu to turn to the dark side I don't think Grogu sees the dark side or the light side I think he just sees He's a baby. I just think he sees the force is what it is. Do you think Rahul Kohli was trolling and will be Ezra? I don't think he was trolling. I think he's Ezra. Who hid Grogu away from the Jedi Temple? Jocasta knew. Fernando Silva. What up? Would it be possible Grogu turns? Do you think Ahsoka how... What? what? Do you think Ahsoka knew how to heal a crystal because she learned it from... Master Terra Sinube. She did spend some time with him in the Clone Wars. Yeah, the whole, like, purifying crystals and bleeding crystals thing, I don't know where they learned that from. I know Vader learned it from Sidious, so she would have had to learn it from somebody. Yoda tells Luke that he's the last of the Jedi. Who else could Ahsoka be referring to that would come find Grogu? Leia? But that doesn't make sense. So, Jocasta. So, is Ahsoka a Jedi or not? Hope to see her more. Me too. I hope that's not the last we see. I think we're going to see all of these characters again at the very end. Yeah. Something like that. Which would be nice. Which would be really nice. Rodrigo, thank you again, man. Ahsoka in gray robes means it's all happening before Rebels end? Uh, no. So, this is all after Rebels. 
She's looking for Thrawn, and then she goes after Sabine's help. No. So this is... Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no. So this is five years after episode six. So I think... I think this is... Uh, that's an interesting theory. It makes me think, actually. Hmm. Like, after that time jump in Rebels? I see what you're saying. No, I think this is well after that. Why wasn't Ahsoka wearing the Gandalf cosplay? Yeah, that's an interesting... That, that makes me think no. Is this right after? Is this after that time jump in Rebels with Ahsoka? What do you think? Do I have a channel that focuses on lore and theories of games? Yeah, my gaming channel. Go check it out. Gonna be doing some God of War theory soon. No way Ezra gets killed by Thrawn. He fought Vader, Maul, and escaped the Imp. Emperor. He, well, he didn't fight. Uh, he got beaten by Vader. He beat Thrawn. Yeah, Ezra didn't win any of those scenarios. He just got lucky because someone helped him and, and got out of it. Um, do you think Ezra will play a larger role in Star Wars? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think he will. Is a Grand Admiral higher than a Moff, or is a Moff higher than a Grand Admiral? Is Gideon of Thrawn the most senior Imperial? Is Gideon or Thrawn the most senior Imperial? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, so Moff... Grand Admiral, I think, is the highest you can get. And I think Moff is below it. Can someone correct me on that? Yeah, I, I think. I'm not, not quite sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm now, th now I'm thinking of the, the, the Rebels thing. It's like, was it like right after? Or? I don't know. To me, it seems uncharacteristic of Thrawn to remain loyal to the Empire. The only reason he joined them was to fight against the Grisk. What happened to the Grisk? Well, they appear in future seasons, perhaps. Will we see the Yuuzhan Vong someday? Perhaps. From Baby Yoda to Grogu, how far have we come? <laughs> in, a, in a second, dude. How can Tricasta Nu come for Grogu if Vader kills her in the comics? It will definitely be Luke. Luke was a baby, so. And Ahsoka said that Grogu was saved at the end of the Clone Wars. So that means Order 66, or around there. So, um, Jocasta Nu was killed by Vader, but there was still a lot of time um, for her to save him. It, like, there were, like, months in, in this time, so... Night, night, you're the best. Night, Timify. Many theories. Grogu is the one who leads Luke to the island for the first time. Luke will know Mando is better father figure or may consider himself too young to teach. Grogu says no. They need to keep Mando OP for relevancy. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably the last one. I know you're Canadian, but I want to say I'm super thankful for you and what you do for the community. I love you, man. Keep it up. Thank you, Jack. I'm thankful for you, too. I'm thankful for all of you. They should do a HBO Max style Justice League edit of the sequels to extend series to fix them. Also, maybe Sebastian Stan could be Luke in the Mando. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, man, look, Snyder Cut. Just just learn from him. He's killing it, and you know, you get your cake and you eat it too. You make two movies and or two trilogies, and yeah. Ahsoku said Grogu had many masters that he can that can tie him in with a bunch of characters. I love it. Grogu trained a little in the dark side by the Emperor, which is why he can't remember or has a cloudy part in his memory. Aging slowly, no purpose. Yeah, so maybe he was saved by Palps. Do you think Luke had a successful Jedi Academy before the flashback shown in The Last Jedi? It's also annoyed it's always annoyed me how The Last Jedi made it seem like Luke failed at it. Yeah, that's the thing, so maybe they're gonna fix a lot of stuff. There's no fixing what they did, but fixing, you know, 
adding to Luke's story after the last Je after after the re uh, re return of the Jedi. Maul reveals Yoda's species in Battlefront Two. <laughs> what? Grand Moff outranks all except for Emperor. Oh. Well, Grand Moff, but Moff. Moff? There's Moff and there's Grand Moff. Right? Moff equals political rank. Admiral equals military rank. Ah, yes. I see. So they're two totally different things. Moff Gideon was a part of a ISB. I think Thrawn is above Gideon. I think so, too. Not going to lie, you're making dollar off this stream. Big love. Man, I make dollar off everything I do, so dollars don't matter anymore. Not that they did, but this is just what I do, man. I worked to get here, and I, I'm happy to do what I do, and I love to do what I do, and um, it's all because of you guys. So I really take pride in everything I do, and I want to make sure it's the best quality for all of you guys. So... Grand Admiral is a Navy rank. Uh, Moff would be an Imperial rank separate from a branch, similar to the Nazi party being separate from the German army. Oh, okay. Grand Admiral is a Navy. A Moff would be an Imperial rank. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. Grand Admiral would be for the ships, and the Moff would be for the Empire. I don't recall Sabine give us a hint if the time jump when Ahsoka showed up would explain why, would explain the gray robes and a place and time for her show. Looking for Thrawn. Would love you to theory this up. That's interesting. Yeah, where the hell is Sabine right now, dude? That's what I'm wondering. Like, it's weird. 1532, the owl that follows Ahsoka. Yeah, Morai. Uh, Moff is a governor of a region. Gideon controls the Outer Rim region before the Empire fell, and Thrawn is in charge of the fleet. Right, like like a divided sect kind of thing. Low-key want to see Cal instead of Luke, <gasps> only because I want to see more of Cal, because I will just tie in the games with Clone Wars and Rebels just to make a complete Star Wars story in the show. Yeah, I could feel you. Why not both? I say let's get them all in there. Here's another super chat just for showing love to my man, Zack Schneider. <laughs> Uh, I know it's not Star Wars. Sorry, Snyder, not Schneider. I know it's not Star Wars related, but I would love to take. I would love your take on his work. I could do that maybe in one of the podcasts. Your content has always been awesome. Thanks for always showing the love back. Thank you, Sean. It's my pleasure. It's my job. Is the Zabrak in the cloning tank in two o four? Is just an Easter egg, or could it point to a future return for Maul's clone since Ray Park is? back yeah that's what i was thinking man i mean that was it was a zabrak in the um in the concept art so maybe maul will return but maybe they're trying maybe they're just trying different things they're trying to clone different beings and different species to see what works best what holds the force best so i was gonna make a video on it but i, I didn't i so i will i will do that for you i think it'll clear some things up mm, like a short video Uh, thank God for Dave Filoni. Yeah, he's a legend for this. Also, when do you think Boba will return in the series? Maybe in the end, or he's going to show up in some other thing. And then we'll be able to understand why he's alive. You know? Does the filming add up if Grogu was one of the first clones on Kamino? Um, no, because that would have been... No, that would have been, that would have been before, that would have been nine years before the Phantom Menace, and that would have been, uh, I think, like, 18 years before the clones were actually made. <laughs> so, I don't think so. Um, but then again, they could do anything, right? Um, at that point, Dooku was still, unless someone had him cloned, but unless he's got accelerated aging, but he doesn't, he, he was, he's not a clone. It was just said that he was in the Jedi temple. So I got to take all of my previous theories and throw them out.
Lothcat equals Ezra. Either he saved Grogu or he will reach out to Grogu on Typhon. I think so. Mace saved Grogu during the Temple Assault, confirming he survived the fall. That'd be cool. Mace equals Vapod. Grogu's anger connection there. I think there's a connection. Look, it's going to be very, very ballsy if they put Mace in there. But if they do, uh, hey, I'm rooting for it. I'm happy to see it. Navy and army ranks don't matter. Thrawn is above everyone but Tarkin, Vader, and Palps. Right. Tarkin is above Thrawn, but, I mean, he's dead, so. Could Ahsoka have... Tarkin was even above Vader. <laughs> uh, could Ahsoka have taken Grogu during Order 66? Um, no, she would have told him, I feel like. But also during Order 66, she was far away from the temple. She was like on that ice planet, remember? In the end. Yeah, we could see the eclipse. That'd be neat. Mando with a staff versus Gideon with the dark saber. Right, and Giancarlo, as Vasito said in his interviews and stuff, that he was breaking dark sabers, like the props when he was filming in order to film different scenes and he broke multiple versions of them so uh, he's gonna fight somebody just don't know who I think Moff Gideon as Red Skull from Cap 1 Cap First Avenger Thrawn <laughs> probably bad metaphor because he's like the science sector of military maybe theory after sending out message at the temple Moff arrives and abducts Grogu. Luke then arrives, and Mando and Luke go team up to rescue him. Yeah, that's what I think is going to happen, too. Then Din and Luke are going to go and save the kid. Wouldn't Sabine be watching over Lothal right now? Mm, no, she would be with... Ahsoka, I thought. Unless that's uh, we're not there yet. Okay, I need to know, are we with... Okay, so it, you know that time jump after Rebels? Everyone who's seen Rebels, you know that time jump after Rebels? Where Ahsoka shows up to take some short-haired Sabine uh, to find Ezra? It, has this happened yet in the timeline? I'm, I'm confused. Like, how far after Rebels was that? I can't imagine it was five years after. There was maybe like a year, you know? I don't know. It's, it's it's tough to know. The Jedi in the past erased have erased memories. Revan, maybe they did it to save Grogu when they hid him. Love what you do, bro. Keep doing your thing from Texas. Hey, much love, man. A little bit of everything. Thanks. Zachary says, Inquisitor Barris off he shows up and duels Ahsoka. I think it would be a great way to tie up loose ends with her story. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, she's in jail, so how the hell did she get out? I guess the Empire could have gotten her out. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, what did they do with all the prisoners? Do you think Cal Katarn could come back? Will be the Jedi mentioned? I personally don't think it should be Luke. I think it should be Luke. Yeah, I'd love to see it be Luke. Just realized that since Ahsoka didn't see, seem to be a prior acquaintance of Grogu, it might mean that he had to have been, def been there only after she left the Order. Well, no, that's just what he told her, right? He said at the end of the Clone Wars, which is Order 66. What if Grogu becomes a Knight of Ren? Just realize that, yeah. What if they clone Starkiller and bring Sam Witwer as canon? I would freak. Jordan Sabres, thanks. What did Obi-Wan do with Maul's body? Probably buried him. Maybe he cremated him. I don't know. You don't think it's happened yet? Hold up, hold up. So you don't, you guys don't think the the rebel scene where Ahsoka takes Sabine has happened yet? So are you thinking this all is happening before? Hmm. Maybe. This is, okay. So this, you think Mandalorian is happening before the time jump after at, at the end of Rebels with Ahsoka and Sabine? That's what I want to know, as I don't know.
So I'm, I'm trying to read you guys' comments. It's definitely after Rebels ended after, but we don't have enough info yet as to the amount of time has passed. I definitely think it's after too, so I'm just going to assume it's after. I'm just going to say it's after. I think the time jump was just a few years because of Hera and Kanan's son. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll roll with that. I'll roll with that. Pretty sure the time jump was around when Vader was defeated in episode 6. Ahsoka went to find Ezra. Also, you should play the new Star Wars game on... Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I've, I've heard it was pretty good. When, if the point comes, Grogu builds the lightsaber, I'm almost positive the sphere part from the Razor Crest cockpit will be one of the pieces of the lightsaber. That'd be cute. Boba Fett turns into Snoke. Oh, God, I hope not. I think that was, like, one of my theories. Or no, it was, it was a, there was a video I, I read from someone's theory. Estimate the time jump from Jason's age. Right. Yeah, how old was Jason Solo then? Uh, sorry, not Jason Solo. How old was Jason then? Jason Doom. Actually, I think the time jump is after this episode because Sabine was questioning if they would even find him like they already had been looking. Maybe. Yeah. Remember the time jump? The whole city was rebuilt. Yeah, but that's... I'm trying to figure it out. It's like, is, is that... It can't be five years. Like, what? Let's go look for... I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Hey, Theory, just want to say thank you. Also, FYI, Fallen Order is top two selling game 2020 in the U.S., so Cal may appear if they wanted to ride the popularity. Oh, yeah, interesting. I think the top game in 2021 is going to be uh, God of War Ragnarok. Just saying it. Yeah, I, I gotta know if this is after that rebel scene or if it's before, because I, I I I don't wanna like leave it out of the the breakdown. Jason looked close to the same age as Anakin was when he first No, I think Jason was much younger, man. He was like freaking five or something. Mandalorian is four years after Jakku. Mandalorian is five years after um, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Seven year time jump? Why do you say that? According to Wiki, Jason Sandula is born zero BBY. So a new hope. So this must be before. So this must be before that time jump then. Ahsoka finds out where Thrawn is, then goes to find Sabine to say, let's go get Ezra at the end of Rebels. I think this episode is directly before the end scene in Rebels. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Because now it just means... Well, maybe not afraid of, but now I just think Ahsoka and Sabine are going to get their own show. I think that's what that means. Uh, which is cool. Who do you think will find Grogu on Titan? <laughs> Who do you think? Moff Gideon. I'm still stuck on where they could have hid Grogu. Where do you think the temple is? So they could have wait, what? Where do you think in the temple they could have hidden him? I don't think they hid him in the temple. In the temple, I think they just took him. Someone took him. Um, like took him out of the temple. Or perhaps they went into the dungeons or something. No one knows the temple better than Jocasta knew, I feel like. So, uh, do you think we will get a flashback with Grogu in the Jedi Temple during Order 66 that shows Anakin and the Five of First coming into the temple? Woo, that'd be cool. What if Grogu was saved from a temple guard and I think it's after Rebels? Why would Ahsoka be looking for Thrawn? She's looking for Thrawn because she knows that Ezra is with him. So, I mean, she's not going to be like, yo, where's Ezra? The magistrate's going to be like, who? I'm sorry, what? If Grogu is still a kid at 52, then by the sequel trilogy, he would still be quite young and not a threat to Ben. Disney could keep him young forever. 
well, he can't be young forever, but... Mando is five years... Well, yeah, I guess they could. Mando is five years after Return of the Jedi Battle. Of Jakku is one year after Return of the Jedi. Yeah, so four years. Would you like the show to have more Jedi show up, or would you prefer Mando and Grogu an isolated protagonist? I want more Jedi. I kind of like the isolated vibe, not going to lie. No, I, I want more Jedi. Give me more Jedi, bro. I, I'm not going to lie, though. I got kind of sad when he was taken... Uh, when, when we were saying bye to Grogu, though. I was like, no... Asked this before, but phone died, lol. Wouldn't you think Fav for Loney are too aware of how many hate the sequels to connect them too much? Maybe, but I don't think they really care. I think they just want to tell a story. So well, the sequels could have been amazing, uh, beyond amazing, if it was uh, done by Filoni and Favreau. But it wasn't. So the, the, the sequels aren't the problem. The sequels we got are the problem. So... Maybe in their head, they have a different sequels. Mando takes place the same year as Jakku. Uh, no. It takes place four years after Jakku and five years after Return of the Jedi. Okay, this makes sense. The jump is after Mando. Ahsoka's body is older in Rebels. At the end of the show, they are still looking for Ezra and Thrawn. During Mando doesn't know where he is it feels like the end of dbz 10 years ago 10 year gap okay i'm gonna go with it yeah i think this is right before the rebel scene was there talks recently regarding a rebels season does this episode link to a new season of rebels it could yeah i think there's going to be a new uh, new rebels uh show anyways has Tython appeared in other canon material? No, I don't believe so. With Ahsoka live action show rumors, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't if we don't see much more of Ahsoka this season in Mandalorian. I hope I'm wrong though. I hope I'm wrong too. I hope you're wrong too. Odds on Sebastian Stan as Luke in episode eight. Ugh, I hope, bro. Uh, Grogu saved by Grand Inquisitor before his fall. Maybe. Adeptus, thanks. Sean, last comment from me so you can get to the breakdown, but Mandalorian has been rumored to have new Fortnite theme. Ugh. I don't, I don't play Fortnite, so I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, you're right. I was thinking ABY after Endor. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, true, true. Thanks, Jack. Sebastian Stan acting as young Luke... Yes. Or Mark Hamill coming in as acting as young Luke. Well, I would love for Mark Hamill to come in. Yeah. Look at the concept art for Jason on the wiki. He's about uh, waist height of a stormtrooper. Don't think he was around 10. Rebels scene was before Mando. Damn, that's, that's, I'm, I'm confused, man. Rocket to ships on Titan. Hey, Theory, do you think we'll see Thrawn or Ezra in the next episode? Keep up the amazing work. Nobody out here doing it like you, champ. This is the way. Thank you, Diego. I appreciate that, man. Hey, I love what I do. I, I, I really take a lot of pride in it. I appreciate it, man. Glad you noticed. I thought Beskar could only deflect sabers, not block them. No. I know. Hey, man, I just tweeted you a link with some pretty in-detail stuff you should check out. Uh, my name on there is... <laughs> nice name. Love Mando is totally interpreting things from the Old Republic. I just finished watching. What'd you think? Well, okay. I'm going to go rewatch it. I'm going to go and do the breakdown afterwards and probably be up for the next uh, nine hours. So, yeah, probably. Uh, good night, everyone. I hope you all have a great day. And uh, this was an amazing episode. I enjoyed this breakdown with you guys. Three hours we've been sitting here chilling. Um, thank you to all the comments. Thank you all the generous super chats. Uh, and thanks for just hanging out with me and making the community feel like uh, a home for Star Wars fans. According to Collider's timeline, Sifo Diaz commissioned clone army in 40 BBY. If Mando takes place circa 8 ABY, that's about 50 years. No. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that's accurate though. It's 4:38 a.m. I'm going to night. I'm going to good night. Stay safe. Keep doing your thing. Thanks, bro. Odds, Groku, Grogu. And Jason Sindula will train together as first class? I don't know about that. Maybe. Does Grogu see Force Ghost at the temple? 
Maybe they could speak to him. Did Yoda find Grogu when he and Obi-Wan went back to the temple to find surviving Jedi? Then take him and hide him away. Yeah, maybe Grogu went and hid somewhere because he's so tiny. That could be cool. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you in the breakdown. Make sure you catch it. Um, this live stream was honestly awesome. And it was huge. And this episode was huge. And I can't wait for the next one. I will see you all next week at midnight. Or maybe even a little bit before. We can all chat and hang out a little bit. So thank you so much. Love you. May the force be with you. See you in tomorrow's breakdown.